it's been a very, very, very long time. It's been way too long. It has been way too long. I have missed you so much. Oh my God, I've missed you so much. I, it's been a long time, my babies. It has been a long time. Hello, by the way. Hi, hello. Welcome to Rose Bloom Storytime, my babies. We are back. Um, okay, so while I get the card piles ready, I feel like I have to tell you where I've been because I've been gone for a little while, my loves. I have been gone for longer than I have wanted to. That is for fucking sure. I have missed you so much. I'm so, 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 so excited to be back. Um, you have no idea how eager I've been to get back to filming uh, readings and getting back to hanging out with you guys and connecting with you and chatting with you and all that fun, good stuff. Um, so, crazy times over here, my loves. Crazy times it has been. Um, I had a very busy June. We are no, are we in June? We're not in June anymore, my loves. That's for sure. And I knew that. I didn't hesitate because I knew that because I know things. Uh, <laughs> and uh, very busy June, very packed. I got a lot of very exciting businessy things uh, done in June. I was being a boss girl, business lady person, doing great. Um, and that was amazing. That was amazing. It it surprised me how much time it, it took up of my time that it took. Um, <laughs> um, and it, time went very quickly. And I made a post where I was like, my babies, don't worry. Don't worry. I've been I've been a little bit busy. Haven't had time uh, to to film or to edit or to post as much as I would like. But I'll be back. And then. I shit you not, my sweet, beautiful darlings, I shit you not, I think either the same day or the day after um, I made that post and I was supposed to film um, the following day um, and I was getting back on schedule. I had, you know, done my business things. I had caught up on readings. Everything was going dandy. <laughs> um the day, I think the day after I made that post, I was a bit silly. I did a silly thing and I forgot that uh, I have aged. I have had a recent birthday and I have aged. Um, and I moved, literally, I moved in a very silly way. And I got this, I just, I, I was a bit silly. I was a little bit of a goofball. And I got this absolutely fucking wretched back injury. My loves, my babies, holy fuck. Now, 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 pain, pain is, is a spectrum. It's a broad spectrum, but, uh, I have given birth, um, and without any without any of the good stuff the good stuff wouldn't work on me so i experienced it all um and <laughs> so i have like a i had like a pretty like good threshold i think for like what you know pain is you know i've sprained my ankle i've also given birth so like i'm pretty aware of like the the depths of which we can experience pain <sighs> my loves my loves, I have been in a motorcycle accident without a helmet. That's a story for a different day. We won't go into it. Teenagers are stupid. That's that's the long and short of it. Um, <laughs> to do silly things when they're in love. Um, and I think this back injury, with no exaggeration, was just a just a pinch, just a touch under giving birth. It was crazy. And it, I got it in such a goofy, nonsensical way. Like I just, it just happened and it shouldn't have happened, but it happened. And I, it was so, okay. I do get asked a lot, quite a lot, actually, um, when I'm having conversations with people or when I'm doing, uh, when I'm doing private readings now and then, or when I'm having, you know, talking on Instagram DMs and so on and what 
have you. And um, I get asked now and then if I actually laugh as much as I do in readings in real life. Um, and the answer is yes, I do. I love laughing. I think, you know, live, laugh, love, as they say. But I also didn't realize until I got asked that question a couple times over that I am one of those people who laugh in response to almost everything. Like, it's just like, it's, it's my, it's my catch all response when I'm afraid, when I'm upset, when I'm anxious, when I'm nervous, when I'm, you know, I laugh. I laugh all the time. Um, and so <laughs> I had gotten this back injury and I didn't realize when I got it that it was as serious as it was. I was just like, oh, you know, just a little, a little something, a little something we can get through, a little something to get you by. We'll be fine. Um, and, <laughs> and I went into my daughter's room um, and uh, it was laundry day. So I was tidying up. I was picking up some laundry and putting it in the, in the basket, things that are just like straight out. And then I was like, oh, I'm here. I might as well, you know, just like pick up a few things while she's in school. Um, and bending down was very difficult, like bending over. Um, so I was like, okay, all right, I'll sit, I'll sit on the floor and I'll just tidy up and that'll be easier. Um, so I sat on the floor, arduous task at that, at that time. Uh, and then I finished cleaning and I went to get up. I went to stand up as I have done for many, many, many years. And I couldn't. And that sounds a little silly to say. I could not stand up. I couldn't do it. The pain of that motioning to standing up was unbearable enough that my body was just like, baby, you're not standing up. And so <laughs> fortunately I had, uh, I had some family, uh, downstairs. I was upstairs and, uh, they were chatting and I started, I started laughing a lot because I was panicking, but also because I thought it was so ridiculous that I could not stand up. Um, and I was laughing, but I was also like, unknowingly crying like I had like silent tears falling from my eyes but I was laughing um and my mom was downstairs and she's like are you okay and I'm, and I'm still laughing and I'm like I can't stand up and she's like what do you mean and I'm like I can't stand up and I think I'm crying <laughs> um so I did it. I got, I got up. It took me 11 minutes. I had my phone with me. Um, and I got a text when I started standing up and then a call when I had officially stood up 11 minutes apart. Um, and <laughs> it was brutal. My babies, I won't lie to you. It was brutal. I will say though, I'm completely fine now. 95% fine now. What I am experiencing now is literally nothing. Apples and oranges compared to what I was experiencing at the beginning of all this. Um, but I, <laughs> in that journey and experience, I was not able to uh, film because I couldn't sit uh, for that long. Um, I, I had to lie down for like, I think five days straight. Yeah. And I would like try and I have a very hard time being still and healing from injuries. Um, I have, per <laughs> I have permanent arthritis in both of my ankles because I've sprained my ankles so many times when I was younger, um, doing sports and things and never giving myself the, the allotted time to like just rest and elevate and ice and so on and so forth. I'd give it like seven, 10 days and it'd be like, it's fine. You know, it's, it's, it's good enough. It's, it's better than it was. Um, not as good as it was originally, but better than it was. So it's fine. Um, now I, uh, now if there's a strong gust of wind, I'm, I'm gone. I'm floored. I'm leveled. <laughs> um, so I wasn't able to film because, um, I had to, balance my time between uh resting and and recuperating and healing and uh private readings which i am extremely extremely grateful for um and so 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 grateful for all of the kindness um 
for the wonderful people that uh, I was fortunate enough to do private readings for who were very understanding of, uh, you know, the, the time it took to complete and, and everything and the people who, um, you know, waited a little bit to hear back from me in emails and stuff. I'm still catching up on, uh, on emails and, and uh, DMs on Instagram. And I will be catching up on comments and all those wonderful things. I have read everything. I do. I do always keep keep my eyeballs peeled for all of the wonderful things that you gorgeous lot have to say. Um, but I haven't. What are we doing? Okay. Thank you. Um, I have been a bit a bit slow, but we're gonna catch up. We're gonna catch up. We're gonna get there. This I promise you, my loves very grateful uh for your patience and again i'm i'm all good now i promise i'm all good um it was just it humbled me i won't lie to you it was one of those injuries that humbles you it reminds you of of your humanity as invincible as you can feel at times it was one of those things where it's like baby you got you got bones in that body you, <laughs> you <laughs> there's there's things going on in there you gotta watch out for that um, yeah, so <laughs> it was, it was surprising. Um, but oh my goodness gracious. Uh, but yeah, I didn't realize it felt like a lot of time had passed. I, I felt very much that I missed you guys and I felt, you know, some of you, um, reached out on, on Instagram saying that you missed me. It was very, very sweet, warmed my heart. Um, and I could feel that I could feel the loveliness of being missed. And I felt that I missed you guys very, very, very much and very strongly. And I wanted to come back, but I wanted to come back in a state that was, uh, that was worthy of you all. And that was going to allow me to, uh, to give you, you know, the most clarity that I could possibly give you, um, which meant I had to be in a state that was void of painkillers, cause, whoo, doggy dog, whoo, doggy dog, oh my goodness gracious, um, but yeah, and then I, it was funny because I haven't, like I said, I haven't caught up on my Instagram DMs. I have a lot of catching up to do. Will do, will do, my loves. This I promise, will do. Um, but I have not a clue not a clue where I've placed my little notebook where I would write down like, um, uh, reading suggestions and the questions or commentary such and such that I would get for Rose Bloom story time. Um, so I was like, Oh, what do I, what do I do for Rose Bloom story time? And then I was like, baby, we got stories. We were, we were supine for like a week straight. We have stories to tell. Um, and I do, I have a couple. So let's talk about them. My loves get comfy. Come sit with me. Come hold my hand. I missed you. Um, so while I was recovering, um, from this absolutely fucking botched injury that I gave myself by being a hooligan, um, <laughs> I rekindled my relationship with YouTube shorts. Um, and I haven't watched them in a long time, long, 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 long time. Haven't sat and actively just scrolled through YouTube in a long time. Um, and somehow, not sure how this happened. Um, the YouTube shorts algorithm decided to give me these lock picking videos, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you're all aware of them, or at least most of you are aware of their existence. Um, they're really cool. Some of them, not gonna lie to you, pretty hot. It's pretty hot how they finesse those locks. Um, and it reminded me of my own lock picking journey. Um, which was very, it was very jarring to like, I was like, what, what, what does YouTube know that like, I'm getting these, these lock picking recommendations. I do. And I don't have them anymore. I got them for like two days straight and then never again, they just vanished into the ethers. Um, but it was one of those things where I, okay. I'm very close to my mom. We have a very, very, very close relationship. She is one of my best friends. I adore that woman. She is absolutely magnificent. Um, but she is my mother 
And in being my mother, um, unfortunately, she does not know every single facet about me, despite what she may think. <laughs> Over the years, she has learned. Um, and I remember a few years back, um, my aunt had called my mom and she was very upset because she had gotten locked out of the house and uh forgot her key in the house and they had this very 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 old janky door that the lock was always like 30 percent activated so if you closed it tightly enough it would lock and you know you couldn't unlock it it wouldn't it wouldn't happen nothing she didn't have the key um, she didn't have the key. She left the key inside. Her husband was at work for like the next eight hours, could not leave his work. She was very upset. And, um, we were out in the car when she had called, um, going for something, doing something, going for a drive. And my mom was like, okay, um, what do we do? Do we call a locksmith? And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I can, I can figure it out. I can get into the house. No problem. And my mom's like, okay, very hesitant. Okay. Um, I don't know how you think you're going to do that. Like there's no, she has, um, very like high windows, you know, like those like skinny windows that are like higher up on the wall, not like a normal, you know, window you could like climb in. And I'm like, no, 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 it's, it's fine. We'll, we'll get it. We'll figure it out. Um, so we get there and my aunt is like inconsolable, her anxiety through the roof, um, which is understandable. This was like 11 PM by the way. Um, <laughs> This is a very late night um, that we were out and about and her husband worked overnight. So she was like, I'm going to be locked out of my house for the evening. And we were like, no, 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 don't worry about it. Um, and she's like, well, I don't know. My aunt was like, well, I don't know how you're going to get in there. And I was like, don't worry about it. Um, and my mom, you know, was trying to calm her down and she's like, don't worry, don't worry here. You know, let's, let's go over here and let's talk. And, uh, I'm fiddling with the door and, uh, doing, doing what I do. Um, and my mom comes over and she's like, what, like whispering. She's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, okay, I don't want to have to elaborate, but in high school, I did learn how to pick locks. And she's like, at the time she was like, okay. Ha ha, tee hee, sure. Um, and, and I did it. And, and my mom was very humbled, but also very like mom level concerned. Um, so my aunt was ecstatic, got in the house. We're like, are you okay? You're all right. You're not upset anymore. That's great. Good night. Kiss, kiss. Love you. We got to go. Um, and we're driving home and my mom's like, so what? what level of concern do I have to have for you having this skill of being able to pick locks? And I was like, it's nothing bad. Um, it's not, you know, it's not anything bad. It's just, you know, a skill that I picked up because I, I was a weird teenager. Um, spent a lot of time on the internet and I liked to learn weird things and and it came in handy it came in handy when I would like you know walk home with my friends we go to their house and they're like oh shit I forgot my key the door was locked you pick a lock it worked for lockers when like you know their combination wouldn't work or when they forgot their combination or when you know high school bullies were like mean and somebody like hid something in their locker and you know when the locker and the stuff you know what I mean I you know it's neither here nor there and if uh you know, for legal purposes, this story isn't real, by the way. It's it's fiction. Rosebloom Storytime Fiction Edition. Um, but if it were real and it did happen, it is a skill that has come in handy many times uh, in my life. Um, and it's also, it's it's a pretty cool party trick. It's something that, you know, it's pretty cool to whip out now and then. It's like, what it, what's, you know, a cool thing you know how to do? I can pick a lock. Oh yeah, sure you can bring me a lock my friend um so yeah that's what that reminded me of and it was very I, I don't do it as cool as they do on the youtube short videos the finessing and the the like one shot ba bam that's not me but it did take me back it did take me back to the time 
Um, my mother was very nervous to possibly learn that I had this hidden criminal background um, that she wasn't aware of, which I didn't, at least not in relation to lockpicking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Mm. Um, <laughs> what else did I get up to while I was, uh, it honestly, a lot of it is a blur. I was on a lot of painkillers. I did a lot of sleeping. Um, what else? Oh, you know what, my babies? You know what, my babies? I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the last Rose Bloom story time we were talking about was the video game crushes. Um, so we talked a lot about Final Fantasy because Final Fantasy VII Rebirth had just been announced. Um, and then Final Fantasy XVI got released. And it, she looks gorgeous, my loves. She looks beautiful. Um, and I was sitting there and I was in pain and I was feeling sorry for myself. And I posted on Instagram. Um, I posted on Instagram stories and I was like, guys, somebody needs to talk me out of buying a PS5 just to play Final Fantasy 16. Um, and the responses were resounding. You should, you should do it. Um, and I, <laughs> I got so close. So I, I like, panic reached out to my brother um and I was like listen I need you to talk some sense into me and I need you to talk me off the ledge of buying a PS5 to play Final Fantasy 16 because I was so certain I was so certain that one of my older brothers was going to be like listen listen you silly little scoundrel that's unreasonable that is an unreasonable purchase right now. That's silly. Um, but I underestimated, um, how darling and supportive and beautifully irrational, uh, my brother is. And so the next day I woke up to this like wall of text messages that was like, listen, listen, you asked the wrong person. And I was like, uh oh, and he gave this very beautiful explanation about how, you know, how I work hard and I deserve nice things. And the game looks phenomenal and is supposed to be magnificent. And, you know, Final Fantasy is my thing and blah, 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 blah. And it was, very, it was very much not what I expected. And in a lot of ways, what I needed, some ways, not what I needed. Um, I, I, it was very sweet. It did solidify in, in my mind the fact that yes, I do need to buy a PS5 to play Final Fantasy 16. I haven't yet. Um, very excited to. I did, uh, get through a lot of Zelda while I was, uh, while I was off in between doing, uh, private readings. I did get very far in, uh, Tears of the Kingdom and it's amazing. It's magnificent. There is nothing about that game that I can complain about. It's, it's amazing. It's gorgeous and it's enthralling and it's so fucking fun and interesting. I love it. I love it. Bar none, one of my all time favorite games, like immediately. It's amazing. Like, wow. Wow. I'm so excited to play it. I am so excited to play it. Oh, I was just actually right before I started filming, I was playing it with, uh, with my brother. Um, I got him into it cause I was talking to him about it and then we were hanging out while I was, uh, while I was recovering and I was playing and he was just watching me and it was very cute. It took me back to like the late nineties where we would all like me and my two older brothers would sit around our super Nintendo in, in our basement and take turns playing uh, super Mario and watching each other. And that was like our summer. It was very cute, very nostalgic. Um, but it's such an amazing game that you can't just watch somebody play it. Like you have to, you, you, you want to play it as well. Um, so he started playing it and, uh, he was playing it. We were hanging out and, um, just, just chilling. And I was like, I really want to film tonight. I really want to film tonight. Um, but I was feeling a little bit sleepy and I was like, no, I can't, I, I don't want to sleep. I want to film, but I don't want to be sleepy when I film. Um, and, uh, so I asked him, I'm like, have you eaten? He's like, no, I haven't had dinner yet. And I was like, okay, do you want to order something? Um, so I, I, uh, ordered dinner for us and for some reason I was expecting to get like a, like a, 
iced coffee type thing from like the fast food place we ordered from but they didn't have that for some reason all they had were red bulls now now my babies if you've been here for a little bit you know that we have had quite a caffeine journey uh, in the last few months uh, it started quite a few months ago where I would have iced coffees and I would be like revolted when I had to take a sip of them um, and then I got I got a little bit used to them a little bit used to them and then I kind of upped the ante and I would have an espresso shot in the iced coffee I would have two espresso shots and then um, I can't remember which reading but recently I talked about how Oh, it was when I had to film for Patreon, which by the way, I'm a bit behind on the Patreon readings. Um, going to catch up with those. Don't you worry, my loves. Those are coming out uh, right after this reading is posted. I'm going to catch up on those. A um, few days behind. Don't you worry, my darlings. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, <laughs> and I also... Um, the reading after this one is going to be an extended reading on Patreon because I miss doing those as well. I'm very excited to do those again. Um, but I was I had to film I think four or five readings in a row. I filmed for I think twelve hours consecutively. It was crazy. Um, and uh, I've been talking to a friend of mine who uh, is a, a gaming streamer, and they film you know for very long extended periods of time um and I was like I'm really tired I'm so tired but I gotta do this I'm so close to the finish line and he was like you should you should have an energy drink and I was like no absolutely not I could not could not possibly have never had an energy drink in my life terrified of them I am so convinced that a single sip of an energy drink would cause my heart to erupt in my chest um petrified so I never had one but I needed caffeine and the only caffeine available to me from the place we ordered from this evening was in the form of Red Bull why I don't know um and it was peach Red Bull and if you know me I love peach my favorite fruit alongside cherry and it anything peach or cherry I am a happy camper I will happily partake um so I ordered it and I got it and I was so frightened. I was so scared to take a sip. It was like Squidward with the Krabby Patty, my first sip of Red Bull. I was like, this is petrifying. Um, fucking letdown. What a fucking letdown. I think, okay, I don't know. I don't know how energy drinks work. Never had one before, had one tonight. Um, and I was like bone tired. Like I was like falling asleep on the couch, head bobbing type tired. So now I'm just awake. I was expecting like my hands to be shaky and my voice to be shaky and for me to be like fucking like bouncing. I'm just, I'm, I'm just fine. I'm just functioning. I'm, I, I'm not like, I'm not like even, even baseline right now. I'm not jittery at all. What is, what fucking... What's all this hype for? Energy drinks, goodness me. Mind you, it was a Red Bull. It was like this big. And I know they have energy drinks that are like fucking monumental. So maybe that's where maybe that's where the terror lies. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm awake and I missed you. And I'm very, very, very happy to be here, my babies. Um, very happy to catch up with you all. Very excited to do today's reading. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. I'm excited to get started. Let's get started, my babies. Okay, so twinkle, 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 twinkle. That's it for Rose Bloom Storytime, my, my darlings. Thank you so much for being here with me. Okay. All right, my loves. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Hello, 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 my darlings. My name is Katie of Rose Bloom Readings. Thank you so much for being here with me today my loves today's reading my babies is i'm excited about it i'm excited about it i'm always excited about the readings that we do but i'm excited about this one because i have like a list of of readings you know that i plan on doing in future and i have a list of wonderful suggestions from you all and i kind of just whatever jumps out at me is what i do but this reading just popped up from spirit maybe 30 minutes before I 
started filming. Um, today's reading, my darlings, we are going to be looking into confessions of your person, your life partner, your future spouse, your significant person, the person on your mind. If there's nobody on your mind, the person you're going to end up with, the person you're with, if it's not the person you're with currently, the person you will be with, your person, my loves. And we're going to look into confirmations as well and a bit um, of clarification on who this person is to confirm with you. But I do have the feeling that you're going to know. I have a feeling that you're going to know strictly based on what comes up in the form of these confessions, who these confessions are coming from. And these confessions can be anything, my darlings. They could be admission of feelings. They could be confessions of, you know, deep thoughts in a particular circumstance. They could be anything. It doesn't just have to be confessions for, yes, I have romantic feelings for you. It could be, but I do feel like the readings are going to be pretty individual. I'm hearing from Spirit that there are going to be um, two piles that are quite similar. Um, don't know which ones, but, <laughs> but I do feel as though otherwise the readings are going to be quite individual, my darling. So I'm very excited to do this today, my loves. Um, as always, I will have the timestamps down below in the description for each of the piles my loves if you're feeling a little bit lost a little bit confused a little bit unclear you can pause the video you can take a deep breath in through your nose hold it for four seconds and let it out slowly through your mouth my loves take as long or as little as you need there is no rush um, pile number one is act as if your partner is here Pile number two is consider your foundation. Pile number three is true love. And pile number four is choose love. Along with the cards, my loves, at the end of the reading, um, we are going to be pulling some... I feel like we're going to do charms today. I feel like one pile might switch it up and might have letters, but for the majority, I do feel like we're going to be pulling some charms for further messages, some charm casting. It's very witchy over here. It's very fun. Um... <laughs> But again, my darlings, no rush. When you are ready, I will also be ready and we will get started. Hello, 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 my beautiful beloved pile number one. It is so nice to be here with you, my loves. I have missed you. I have missed you. Okay, my loves, um, if you pick this card, act as if your partner is here, whether you have someone in your life or not. Act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. I do feel as though very strongly my loves uh sevens and eights big numbers for you as well my darlings um but i do feel like this pile in particular you are very big on or at least have been researching watching videos on reading up on um law of attraction law of attraction you know making space for your person existing as if your person is you know in your life already creating space for what you want to welcome in. I feel like that's a very big theme for this group. Um, I feel like you are very big on manifesting, conscious manifesting. Um, some of you, I feel like you are very into uh, vision boards as well, especially Pinterest um, for manifesting. I love, I love using Pinterest for manifestation. That is like fucking surefire shit, my babies. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. So if that's something you are into or something you're like, I don't know if that would work, complete vouch for me. Um, <laughs> but I do feel, yeah, you're very big manifestors, very, very, very uh, powerful manifestors as well, my darlings. I feel like you discredit how powerful you are at manifesting. Um, but I feel like if you paused and thought about the things that you wanted to happen or the things that you had hoped would happen that did end up coming to fruition, even if those things took quite a bit longer than you expected or anticipated, they did eventually work out for you. And I feel like that message in particular is coming up, my darlings, because it feels as though there's there's been a, a, a period of time where you have been aware of your person. Um, and for a lot of you, I do feel as though it's awareness in the physical. Um, so it's somebody you could have strong feelings for. My, my right ear is ringing so loud. It is absolutely bananas. The confirmation for you, my loves. Um, 
someone you could work with, um, who you have strong feelings for. It is somebody you could uh, be aware of online. You could be checking up on those profiles now and then, my babies. Keeping up those tabs. Now, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. No judgment here, my babies. You got to do what you got to do. You got to be aware as, as you got to be aware. Um... Or at the very least, you've been getting a lot of confirmations in the form of readings, in the form of synchronicities, in the form of messages, in the form of your own intuition of this person. The same messages again. Oh, excuse you. The same messages again and again. The same synchronicities again and again. The same confirmations again and again for quite a long time. Like some of you were pushing on years, my babies. Um, and this person is saying very strongly, hold on to that. Hold on to that vision. You're not wrong. I'm hearing very clearly. You're not wrong. The way that you see things is as they are. Um, and I feel like that pertains to some of you getting a little bit tired. You're getting a little bit tired of waiting. You're getting a little bit tired of the time that it's taking this person to manifest into your life in, in the physical. Or if you're aware of them in the physical, to um, approach you in the physical and uh, or to reciprocate you know your energy and in some way in the physical and it feels like a very strong confirmation that yes that's going to happen yes you are correct yes this is your person they just need more time they're asking for more time and we're going to get into that in a little bit as to why that is i feel a lot of frustration coming from quite a few of you now um, at that already. It's like, what, what the fuck do you mean they need more time? I've given them all the time. I don't have any more fucking time to give them. My babies give all the time in the world. But I will say, uh, the time is yours to give four fours. My babies, fours, four fours, four, four fours, confirmations for you. Um, also the four of wands card, which is a beautiful card. This is a very, very, very deep, very strong connection. Now, um, get to know each other, learn to meet each other, learn to meet another's need for love. Excuse me. Okay. That's very beautiful because I was just about to say, um, those of you that are aware of this person in the physical, work with them, know of them, same social circle. You see them at the cafe you go to every morning to, to pick up your coffee before work. Um, and you're like, why haven't you approached me? They're saying the same thing. They're saying, why haven't you approached me? Now, my darlings, my darlings, um, powerful manifestors you are, my babies. For those of you that are aware of this person in the physical, I do feel as though you're being very strongly urged to approach this person, to make your intentions known just in the form of putting your energy out towards this person. Because there's some sort of some sort of protective barrier that you've got up around yourself energetically, my darlings. You are very, very, very cautiously protective of who is allowed into your energetic space. And there's nothing wrong with that, my darlings. It's fantastic. The hold that you have on the protection of your energetic space is wonderful. Um, heat up and down my left leg, if that resonates with you, my darlings. But it feels like because of that protection, this person is saying, I'm having a hard time gauging what I'm supposed to do. You know, I catch your eye. I see you smiling at me, but I don't know what that means because you'll smile at them, but then you'll look back down at your phone or whatever. You'll get your coffee and then you'll leave without a word or without another glance at them. Um, so make your intentions known to the person, approach them. Hi, how are you? Etc. Etc. A simple, a simple chat, a simple talk, my darlings. And it's just instant fireworks instant fireworks my loves i feel like the month of july is significant um or a, a time span of three days before or after um, a significant national holiday where you are um for meeting this person uh in the physical and and starting a, a connection with them in the physical um but for those of you who are hearing about this person in readings, who are connecting with this person um, online, but, you know, haven't reached out to them, et cetera, et cetera, or have, you know, reached out, haven't heard from them, it just needs a bit more time, my loves. It just needs a bit more time, and it feels like for those of you who are in that circumstance, there's a lot of confirmation that, yes, you're correct. Yes, this is your person. You're not getting it wrong. You're not in your head about it. You're not putting, you know flower crowns on 
dust bunnies or whatever the fuck people say. I don't know. You're... <laughs> If it's not a saying, it should be. Um, you're seeing things as they are, my darlings. They just need more time. They just need more time because their focus is elsewhere right now. And that isn't meant to be a malicious thing. Um, it does feel as though their focus is primarily on their career, um, on making money right now. Um, but it does feel as though the drive to do that, to achieve the things that they want to achieve, does pertain to their life's purpose. However, you are also a part of their life's purpose. So it does feel as though the money that they're achieving, the, the security in their career that they're achieving is in part because they want to have a stable foundation to build a relationship with you on. And that makes a lot of sense considering the Four of Wands came up as a significant card for you. Um, I feel like in readings pertaining to this person, or for those of you who do readings for yourself, the Four of Wands is a very, very significant confirmation card for this connection. Um, and that's stability, that's success, that's celebration, that's marriage, that's commitment, that's divine connection, my loves. It's beautiful things, beautiful, beautiful things. Um, we have the Ace of Coins, that makes a lot of fucking sense. And then we have, yeah. We have wisdom, which is the high priestess. So your intuition is tapped in, my babies. You do not need to doubt yourselves. As you are seeing things as accurately as they are, you see this person and the way that you feel about them, the, the pull that you feel to them is very, very genuine, my darlings. Um, the space that you're holding for them is not wasted, I'm hearing them say. An Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles. There is a very, very, very successful beginning coming for you in this connection, my darlings. A beginning that you've seen for a long time, that you've been feeling coming for a long time. So yes, it can be difficult to be patient for that because you've been seeing that beginning for so long. Um, but the beginning hasn't been ready in the time you've been seeing it, my darlings. It's been growing and because you're so intuitive, you've been seeing it. Continue to believe that it's coming, my darlings, but don't hold on so strongly to the when. And I know that's difficult. I know better than anybody how difficult that is, my babies. I know that it sucks to hear it's a matter of divine timing. It's a matter of trusting the process. I know you don't like to hear that. You're tired of it. You want me to say something else? That is what I'm being called to say. So that is what I will say, my babies. But I mean it genuinely and I believe in you that you are capable of doing it. You are capable of trusting in the process and knowing that this very wonderful, tangible beginning is coming for you. The Ace of Pentacles, my babies, that is a beginning that lasts. It takes a long fucking time for that little seed to sprout and then to grow and then to bear fruit and then for the fruit to grow and then for us to get the fruit and be like, holy fucking shit, I've aged in this time span. But... <laughs> But it's sweet fruit, my babies. It's delicious fruit. It is sustainable fruit. It is fruit that you are now going to have forever. Um, and that is the beginning that you're worthy of, my darlings. It is also a secure and stable beginning, as we were talking about before. Thank you for the confirmation, my loves. Um, but also, financial abundance is important to this person. Financial security, I should say. But I do feel as though they have goals that are higher than just secure finances. They do want to have some extra cushion room in their finances. They want to be a bit more abundant. They do want to have a bit of those, you know, luxurious things in their lives. I am, they could be a uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They could also have, um, I don't feel so much for sun, could be sun, but rising, um, or moon in particular, I'm feeling uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, because they want a beginning with you, but they want it to be secure. They want to provide for you. They want to take care of you. Um, and I know a lot of you are being like, no, 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 I don't care about that. I just want this person. This person cares about that. This person cares about being able to take care of you, my darlings. But I will say this is a really beautiful connection. When this connection happens, my darlings, this is going to be gorgeous. There is laughter here. This person has a really great sense of humor, but also a sense of humor that matches yours. This is a very romantic person. They're telling me I'm more romantic than I seem. Um, they do have more of a timid kind of outer layer. Um, it could come off as cold or quiet. It's just, it's just timid. It's just a bit shy, my darlings. There's a very thin layer of that and then just underneath that there's a lot of warmth 
there's a lot of joy there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of fun in this person it's a really 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 sweet connection um what are we pulling what are we doing what are we doing um uh okay no not okay okay let's pull let's pull the romance angels i didn't think we'd get into that as quickly as we are but i'm happy to be surprised all right my loves what does this person have to say to you? this person admires you a lot this person admires you a lot my darling if they are somebody you are connected to in the physical already this is a person who admires you confirmations be crazy my loves the confirmations are crazy um if this is somebody that you know in the physical they do uh watch you very fondly you might even catch their eye on you now and then um if this is somebody who you are seeing online um i do feel as though for quite a few of you the um, the, the, you know, watching of the socials is, is a mutual thing. Um, even if they don't let on to as much in the beginning, uh, these two cards wanted to come out as well. So we have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Uh, we're worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and true love this is the romance of a lifetime this is beautiful the energy in this connection is beautiful and i will say my darlings your person can feel your frustration and i'm not saying that to be like how dare you how dare you make them feel your frustration the frustration is understandable my darlings the time that you have been connected to them um, up until being able to be with them in, in, a, in a tangible physical relationship um, is frustrating. That's very understandable. But there's a lot of reassurance here that yes, this is happening. Yes, this is coming. A little bit of patience, just a little bit more patience, my darlings. You know, it, the time that you are having to be patient when you are with this person, when, you, when you're in your relationship, when you're in your dynamic, the time you're experiencing now that feels like forever is going to feel like nothing in the grand scheme of things, my darlings. It's going to feel very minute um, once you get to experience the full expanse of this connection, my darlings. So just go through it as you're, you're being called to go through it. Focus on yourself. Do you, my babies? I know you've heard that a million and one times before. I know that it's frustrating to hear, but literally, this is happening. There is nothing that could prevent this from happening. You and this person are going to connect. You and this person are going to be in a relationship. There is so much confirmation here already right from the get-go that I could not, could not doubt that. I couldn't. Even if I wasn't able to see and feel and hear and experience what I'm doing in that regard, I couldn't deny in the cards, my babies, that this is a sure thing. Um, this person really, really, really wants to treat you very, very well, though, I will say. They want to treat you very nicely. I'm hearing them say, I want to treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Um, and for some of you, that's going to be a difficult thing initially to accept because it's something that you're not quite used to. You're not used to somebody wanting to give so much, somebody wanting to, you know, earth sign energy, my baby, somebody wanting to, to prove in the form of authentic action, what you mean to them, um, and how much they care for you. That's not something you, you're, you're the givers. You've always been the givers. You've always been the showers. You've always, you know, been the ones who are, obligated happily or otherwise to prove how important people are to you um and it's not something that you've you've been on the receiving end of um ever before i feel for a lot of you gifts are a very difficult thing for you to receive i feel like some of you could have had experiences when you were children where to receive a gift to receive you know on on, on your birthday or on a holiday or something to receive a gift was it was a very big deal there was a lot of emphasis put on you know i had to work really hard to get you this or you know this is a really expensive thing i hope you appreciate it rather than just giving a gift and being allowed to to enjoy and appreciate that gift um so because of that to receive a gift now it's like okay what do i owe you 
Um, you don't owe this person anything. You are more than enough repayment for anything they could possibly give you, my darlings. They're very excited to be with you. Very excited to be with you. Very happy to be with you. I do see you going on a vacation with this person within the first three months of your relationship. Um, and I'm not talking like a little, a little thing. This is a trip that you have wanted to go on for a very long time. A lot of you I'm hearing a cruise or at the very least you have to go overseas to get to this place. There's an element of water there, but it's a very exciting trip. Very good trip. And this, there's a lot of pride in this person to be able to provide for you, to be able to support and, and, and comfort and treat you in a way that, you know, they want to treat you, that you deserve to be treated in. Um, so I do feel like you're going to need to work together communicative, communicatively um, in the beginning of your relationship to kind of smooth out those wrinkles <laughs> in the fabric of your dynamic um, just to understand that, you know, they're, they're not doing this as a kind of you know, uneven of the scales where it's like, okay, I've done this huge grand gesture for you. Now you owe me. It's like, no, I care about you a lot. You're really special to me. I think you're a wonderful person. I think you deserve great things. I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where I can afford to treat you to nice, wonderful things. And I want to do that. And then you communicating to them, okay, that's wonderful. Don't go too far with it because I get shy. Um, but I do really appreciate it. And I understand that you're showing me affection in the way that you know how. Kind of a thing, my darlings. But very authentic feelings here. Very beautiful stuff. What are we pulling next? Um, let's pull these. Let's see what they have to say through you. Oh, my God through here they're very soft-spoken as well but very sincere not like I'll, it's not like ramble talking but what they say is very sincere very genuine very thought out as well this is not the type of person to speak without thinking not the type of person to ramble um this is a person who is quiet until they're sure of what they want to say, which is very nice, which is how I know <laughs> that's how I know uh, if they, I do feel they have fire in their chart somewhere, but I don't feel for a lot of them it's sun. If it is their sun, I feel like their fire sun is the only fire they have in their chart. Um, we have delight. Yeah. Yeah, this person wants to treat you to nice things. We have stand still. Okay, you both wanted to come out. We have patience again. And we have action. Okay. I feel like um, bottom of the deck is freedom. Um, okay, so one... Birds and especially feathers, especially white, brown, and black, white and brown more so though, are going to be very big signifiers for this connection, my darlings. I also feel like uh, right around the time that you connect with them, whether that be online, whether that be in person, like I'm um, speaking, like first communication, um, it feels like it's going to be a very significant rainstorm. Like, very significant. Like, torrential downpour type stuff. Not, like, you know, anything, like, newsworthy. Not, like, flood floodgates are open type stuff. But very, like... You know when you're... Okay, for those of you that drive, you know when you're driving in a rainstorm and it's just, like, somebody's dumping buckets of water on your windshield and the wipers are doing their damnedest, but it's not helping? That kind of a rainstorm. Do you know what I mean, my darlings? Um... And then when it stops and clears, I feel like it's sunset and it's the most vivid, most beautiful, picturesque, orange-red sunset you've ever seen. Absolutely gorgeous. That's coming out very clearly. Um, and I feel like you're getting these very specific um, confirmations because I feel like it's what you've asked for. I feel like you're so... You're so in need of concrete confirmation that you're like okay 
just numbers aren't going to do it for me. Um, just this isn't going to do it for me. I need something very, 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 very specific. And so I feel like that's why I'm getting these very vivid confirmations and very vivid sights and, and messages pertaining to this connection. Cause you're like, okay, no, that's, that's what I need. I need that. And you shall have it, my darling. <laughs> Okay, let's pull, um, oops, excuse you. What are you called? Energy Oracle. Goodness me. Um, financial constraints. Goodness gracious. Um, so I am picking up on a lot of mirroring, which makes sense considering how strong this connection is. Um, there's a lot of telepathy between you both as well as, um, music. Um, songs popping up that like pop up again and again and again and again, or lyrics popping up in your head and then you hear the song a few times over. It feels like there's really important messages coming through you, coming to you through this person in the form of song. Um, but I feel like the money worries, or at least the focus on money, um, is something that's being mirrored in the both of you right now because it is coming up so 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 strongly um we have financial constraints magician in the mirror oh, okay magician in the mirror we're talking about mirroring my goodness gracious the confirmations my goodness um adjacent possibilities and the sun okay the sun is a gorgeous card to get in a relationship dynamic my darlings bottom of the deck is door to romance it's beautiful it's beautiful um because the sun is everything. The sun is is joy and happiness and celebration and vitality and sustainability. It's beautiful, gorgeous energy. But I do feel as though your focus as well has been on work and stresses about money. And they're telling me that you're not going to have to worry about your debts anymore. Especially there's a significant like loan or or credit something something that you owe someone and they're calling you a lot and you're not answering and it's bothering you that is going to get sorted my darlings but I am hearing clearly from spirit that you do have to talk to them you have to talk to them you have to make the payment arrangement you just have you know it's not going to be as bad as you think it will be but it is important that you make that payment arrangement so things don't uh escalate in a way that you don't want to you know those rat bastard credit people my darlings um, but it does feel as though, yeah, both of you are really focused on money right now and finding stability and finding security, but also further confirmation that you will absolutely have that in spades once you connect and once you, you have your relationship with this person, it's on stable, steady footing and finances are not something you ever have to worry about again, my darlings. There is always money flowing into this connection very organically. Um, ba 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 Okay. What does the mermaid tarot have to tell us? I found this deck, by the way. I can't remember what, um, reading I was doing, but I said that I had lost, um, this deck and I was devastated because the mermaid tarot as well as the witch's tarot are two of my most favorite favorite tarot decks of all time to use for myself the imagery the stories and the images really just they do it for me they do it for me um and I lost the deck and I was so sad I have never in my life uh, misplaced a deck I didn't know what to do with myself um and I looked everywhere I looked through all my decks I have uh, a few baskets here in my office where I have all my decks looked through it tore them all apart and uh not the decks the baskets <laughs> couldn't find it um i had been working a lot at the time so i kept falling asleep on the couch and um i thought that i had actually been sleeping on top of my deck some nights it was a wild time um i thought that you know in doing that i had wedged the tarot deck somewhere into the couch cushions wasn't there um so i looked everywhere could not find it. I was completely devastated. I was like, I have to get another one. I have to get another deck. Like, I have to have this deck. This is one of my favorite decks. Um, and then one day I came in to do a reading, came into my office, and it was just right on top, right on top of the basket. There we go. Thank you. Um, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I knew it was coming up, my babies. My babies, I knew. I knew. This is good, my loves. This is good. This is gorgeous. Okay, so we have Page of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. If you have ever needed confirmation for anything, let this reading be your confirmation, my babies, because the synchronicities in this reading speak volumes to how tapped in you two are to each other extremely so it's absolutely breathtaking and then we have the four of cups which makes a lot of sense you're tired you're bored you're frustrated but you're not seeing okay 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 let's okay okay bottom of the deck we have the moon so again further confirmation that your intuition top of the pops right now my babies top of the pops but also your anxiety is quite high in this connection and that makes sense my loves because but your anxiety okay okay so much coming through everybody take everybody take a breath everybody take a minute <laughs> everybody take a second um the anxiety that you're feeling is not a bad omen about this connection and i feel like sometimes you interpret that it is it's not the anxiety pertains to the time that you have had to wait and that's difficult it's difficult to trust something for that amount of time when the only confirmations you're getting are not tangible there in the form of synchronicities, messages, confirmations as such. Um, but I mean, you, you can't deny the confirmations, my babies. You can't deny the confirmations. And the Four of Cups here does, again, speak to boredom. It speaks to frustration, but it also speaks to the fact that there is so much happening, so much movement, momentum, so much being granted and, and successfully being achieved that you can't see, you know, in, in the under layer of this dynamic, because you're not looking that way. You're looking at what's not happening. I haven't heard from this person yet. I haven't, you know, connected with this person yet. I haven't found this person yet, some of you. Um, but you're not recognizing what is happening, the confirmations that you are getting, the growth that you've achieved as a person. And Page of Swords, my darlings, speaks to, that's, for me, that's confirmation that somebody is uh, keeping tabs on somebody else online. Not in a malicious way, not in a creepy way, just in a, I'm interested in you and I want to see what you're doing kind of a thing. I want to see what you're up to kind of a thing. Um, and it does feel as though for a lot of you, this is a mutual thing. Um, almost all of you, this is definitely you. Um, but a lot of you as well, this is being reciprocated in a way that you might not be aware of as of yet. And then the four of wands, my loves, I can't, I just can't, I just can't. I mean, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is confirmation that you are being heard by this person, that this person feels the way that you miss them. They miss you in the same way, my darlings. And the lines of communication, although not yet in the physical for a lot of you, the lines of communication are open and so utilize them. Find comfort in your ability to communicate clearly with this person in a spiritual way, in a telepathic way, because it's, it's there. It's happening, my darlings. Um, ba -ba -ba. um okay let's oh god oh i'm dropping everything let's look at the oracle of the seven energies and then do no okay uh and then we'll look at some moonology and then we'll pull my god and then we'll pull some charms uh the roses kiss beautiful beautiful uh, ladybugs confirmations for you smoke and mirrors okay so yeah you're mirroring each other definitely the way that you're feeling they're feeling what you're experiencing they're experiencing as well threes 33s 333s big numbers for you as well my darlings ears wide open a lot of Claire audience happening songs you could hear this person um speaking to you actually you could hear your name you could hear you know just just confirmations in you know if you're zoning out while you're watching something you could hear like a particular line of dialogue that jumps out at you um or you're you know scrolling on on the social medias and a video plays for like just a few moments but there's something that comes up in that there's a lot of focus on messages through sound that you're receiving this person receiving as well um mirroring each other but also there there's a haze over what you're you're able to see right now my darlings but i will say that there is a lot more happening than you can see 
Um, and it feels like that's what, you know, your person wants you to know. It's like, yes, there, there's a lot happening and you're going to be seeing the results of what's happening in the physical in time. I don't have a timeline right now because spirit is holding that back. And I know that that's frustrating, but that's just, it feels close though. I will say it does feel close, but you're not seeing all of the situation as it is, my darlings. There's a lot more and a lot more good that's happening than you're able to see right now. Uh, ladybugs confirmations, pink flowers, especially pink roses, my darlings, especially the smell of roses. If you get like a waft of, uh, of the smell of roses confirmation for you, my darlings, one of you could, um, could, uh, have rose in your perfume as well. Okay. Let's get some moonology. And then we're going to pull some charms and see what happens there. Um, okay, you, you, and I just want the bottom one of this one. Thank you. Um, I am hearing, uh, some of you who are quite avid... Uh, pick a card watchers. Um, there's somebody who you watch and you, you, it's like the readings that you pick from them don't really resonate with you, but they create quite a bit of anxiety within you. And you're like, Oh my God, what if that's meant to fit? And I'm just not aware of it. And spirit saying it's not for you because if it was for you, you know, even if it was a message that you weren't expecting or anything, it wouldn't create fear or anxiety. It would be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like intuition and, and confirmation always feels very peaceful, my darlings. It doesn't create fear or anxiety or stress within you. If it does, then that's not an intuitive insight. Um, so if you resonate with that, if there's a, you know, a reader that you watch and you get messages that make you just feel like, oh my God, what if that's going to happen? step back from from that for the time being my darlings because those messages aren't for you my loves at at the present time uh we have the full moon in scorpio breathe through the tension i'll fucking say uh last quarter moon in taurus be proud of yourself oh that's very cute um taurus energy in this group especially pertaining to your person as well i will say um and first quarter moon in virgo assess the situation yeah so seeing things with clarity not overthinking them though this person is telling me that you overthink a lot they feel how much you overthink they're showing me like a hamster on a, on a wheel that's just like like the hamster is like spinning with the wheel <laughs> Um, for those of you that uh, meditate or practice yoga, practice breath work, that's going to bring you a lot of peace, my darlings. But also just this person saying very clearly that what you're going through now isn't forever. This period of waiting, this period of stagnancy, this period of frustration is not forever, my darlings. You are moving through that. They are coming towards you. Um, you are in a space of readiness. This person is getting there. They're saying very clearly. They're like, I'm almost there just a little bit more. I'm almost there. So for the time being, my darlings, take control of what you can control, which is your own life, how, how you experience the day to day, how you go through the day to day. And this person will come towards you when they are ready and able, but rest assured that they will come towards you, my darlings. That, that much is very clear. Very, 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 very clear. All right, my loves, let us tidy up a little bit and we're going to pull some charms see what we get through there but this is a really lovely connection very 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 strongly spiritual in in the form of the connection that you have with this person it's very lovely all right my love I'll jumble them up with the lid on because then it won't be as loud and terrible, hopefully. I say that now, but then I go to edit it and I'm like, what? <laughs> Sorry, pardon? Okay. Mm. Ooh. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We have a white butterfly. We have a kitty cat. We have an owl. We have a 
peace sign. We have a mermaid. Um, I feel like you could have a very strong water placement. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, we have another cat. Okay, you could have a cat. This person could have a cat. Uh, believe in love. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous, my babies. Um, we have uh, two snowflakes. Oh, two snowflakes. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to get into that in a second. We have... Is this just is this just a fancy J? It's a J with a crown. So one of you could have J as your initials. Uh, we have another cat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we have Cancer. Okay, water sign. What did I say? What did I say? We have a black star. Uh, we have an orange star. We have a green flower, and we have this funky thing. Um, <laughs> one of you could have uh, a swimming pool or had a, a swimming pool in your childhood home because this reminds me of the like tile that pools have that like very like intricate mosaic -y tile that some pools have um okay believe in love i feel like that really sums up like the confession from your person is like this is real this is real and you've believed that it's real but i know that it's hard to maintain that belief it's hard to maintain belief in something where you're like i feel it so strongly but I'm scared. What if I'm wrong? You're not wrong, my darlings. You're not wrong. The belief that you have in this, the trust that you have in this, the, the pull that you feel to this, how real you feel this is, is true. That's coming through very clearly, my darlings. Um, I do feel as though one of you at the very least could be very into anime, particularly like 90s, early 2000s anime. You know what I mean? Um, like you have like a historical knowledge of anime. One of you could be very, 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 uh, big fans of The Little Mermaid or, um, be very interested even as adults in, um, fairy tales, but like the, like, old versions of fairy tales that didn't really have the happy endings like interest in that um one of you could be a writer as well the two snowflakes are jumping out at me but also the flower i feel like um march yeah march is significant as well to this connection one of you could be born in march or you could have your first date in march you could solidify a relationship in March. You could get engaged in March, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Something about when the snow turns into, you know, the flowers blooming kind of a thing. But also the two snowflakes feel very much like the both of you. It's like, this is, you know, such a gorgeous connection for two people who are such unique individuals. And I believe, yeah, we got the card that said your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectation. That's what this feels like. It feels like on paper, like the two of you are very different. And some people aren't going to understand how you both work as well as you work. But it's like, you know, yeah, we're individuals, but we're meant to be together. You just fit together perfectly. You're made for each other, even though you're two very distinct people. And that's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um we have three cats here so you could have three cats together so if you have one they could have two if you have two they could have one um if you have one and they have one you could get another cat together uh the sound of owls and particularly the hooting i feel like is going to be a big synchronicity for you when you are within three weeks of meeting this person um so you could hear that, you know, outside your own house, you could hear it, you know, in, in uh, a movie that maybe you've seen before, but there's a particular scene where you're like, I've literally never heard this owl hooting before. And now I hear it something very distinct, uh, in that, which is very lovely. Mm, is there anything else? Am I missing anything? Oh, they gave me a shiver and they told me no group number one. This connection is beautiful. This connection is beautiful. I can hear your person saying one little final note. Um, keep holding that space for me. That doesn't have to be an arduous task. It doesn't have to be something that feels taxing or negative. In fact, it shouldn't. Um, just, just believing in it, believing in it, knowing that it's yours, knowing that this person is meant for you. You're, you know, meant for this person and it's going to, excuse you, it's going to come exactly when it's meant to come, my babies. 
And uh, in the meantime, all you have to do, my loves, is just know that you're worthy of something wonderful. Know that it's coming your way and just do you, my babies. Do you in the very best possible way that you know how to. Um, Cause this person, yeah, this person's saying very clearly, like I'm on my way, just, just hang on, I'm on my way. But a lot of really beautiful confirmation uh, in this reading, my darlings. Very exciting for you. This is absolutely gorgeous. I hope that you enjoyed that, my loves. If you did, uh, please feel free to let me know. I would love to hear from you. I would love to talk to you. I've missed you guys so, 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 so much. I'm so happy to be back. So happy to be connecting to you. So grateful to you. Um, if the reading resonated, my energy resonated, please consider subscribing. Where do you go? Over here. Um, all of my links for Patreon that has the uh, extended private readings, exclusive monthly readings, etc., etc., etc. Very fun. Lots of fun stuff over there. My Instagram um my etsy store and my email for more information on private readings pricing and all that stuff are down in the description box below thank you so much for being here with me i am so grateful to you and i love you very 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 much bye hello 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 my loves my beautiful darlings group number two if you picked this card consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love this is your reading um foxes honey badgers confirmations for you my darling swans as well i'm hearing also some of you could be owls as well some of you could be um looking into moving into either purchasing or renting somewhere new or in the last three months could have moved into somewhere new. I'm sorry, I don't know why I just yelled or, or um, moved into somewhere new. The Red Bull's kicking in. Oh my God, it's happening. Um, <laughs> and love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Okay, this is beautiful. So I'm picking up off the bat, my darlings, confession from your person. Um, I can hear them asking, it's like, why don't you see yourself the way I see you? why why don't you recognize how wonderful you are why don't you recognize how magnificent you are you're worthy of everything i want to give you everything you're worthy of the very best you shouldn't settle for anything less okay so ooh, poetry um it feels like <laughs> okay so this is interesting this is interesting energy. I feel like some of you could have uh, gotten out of a, for most of you, it feels like a talking phase or a situationship as the kids are calling it these days, um, or a very short lived relationship with somebody, not this person. I will say the person you have gotten out of a dynamic with is not the person I'm connecting to right now, but they are telling me that you have gotten out of a connection with somebody. Um, and it feels like the person... Ooh, my right ear is ringing. Feels like the person who is confessing right now is somebody who you have confided in. Um, most of you in the physical, some of you just energetically, some of you just putting out into the world, I'm done with the bullshit. I'm done with the people who don't recognize my value. I'm done with the people who don't recognize my worthiness. I'm ready for something better and something greater. I'm ready for somebody who values me and who sees me. And this person is saying, yes, baby, I see you. Um, it does feel as though the person who is confessing is the person you are going to have a romantic dynamic with next. Um, I do not feel as though it's going to be supremely close. I'm hearing eight months for the most of you, uh, up to 13 months, just, just depending on, on, on circumstance, depending on where you are, depending on your openness and receptivity to that kind of connection, my darlings. But for the majority of you, it does feel as though this is someone who you know in the physical, who you have confided in, who does have romantic feelings for you. But also, aside from those romantic feelings, just knows you at a very deep, very personal level and sees your worth and value very clearly and recognizes the fact that right now you are in a phase where you're not recognizing the full, full, expanse of your value and of your worth and they want you to see that that's their confession is I want you to see yourself the way that I see you you're fantastic you're passionate you're brilliant you're driven you're hardworking. you're you're creative you're talented 
you're funny, you're sweet, you're gorgeous, you're, some of you are very, very, very good cooks, or you have a particular dish or baked good, I'm hearing, that you just fucking knock out of the park every time, and it's like your signature thing, like you bring it to parties, you make it for people, it's your thing to make, and it's just fantastic. Um, okay, we have the Seven of Wands, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, and we have, we have the Ten of Cups, Stop. That's the cutest little thing I ever did see. Why don't you? Yeah, this person adores you. This person adores you. Um, very protective over you. Very protective, but also sees the strength in you that I feel like a lot of you in the last little while, seven up to seven weeks, I'm hearing, have forgotten that you have. You know, they see what you've gone through and it feels like for a lot of you, you, you look at back on what you've gone through and it's like, okay, I went through that and it sucks that I had to go through that. And you know, I'm, I'm, it feels like you discredit your strength. Cause you're like, it was hard for me to go through that. That's not a form of weakness, my darlings to go through something and be like, this is difficult is not a form of weakness. You've gotten through it. My darlings, there is strength within you to overcome all things, to get to the other side of a situation that does not serve you because at the very least at a subconscious level, you are aware that you deserve better. This person sees your strength. This person sees how much effort you put into persevering through circumstance, how much courage you have within you. And it feels like for me to say that through them is not something you would associate with yourself. If I asked you if you would describe yourself as courageous, I feel like a lot of you would jump off and say, no, I'm, I'm not a courageous person. I, I'm frightened very often. Feeling fear and being courageous are not those, those don't have to be opposing things, my darlings, you know, to be courageous doesn't ever mean you never feel fear. You take things on, you get through things, especially pertaining to the people that you love, my darlings. And for those of you that resonate with knowing this person in the physical, this is a person who has been on the receiving end of your courage very often, who wants to give you that courage as well. And who does in the form of strength in a way that I don't feel like they fully recognize, um, but you are a very courageous person, my darlings. And there's, I'm, I'm hearing them say there's a light that you shine that the world deserves to see, but most of all that you deserve to see. You bring so much fulfillment and happiness and love to the people around you. It feels like a lot of you could, um, have a, a job or at the very least a social circle where you give out a lot of love and support. Sorry, wrist cracking, go-kart, um, <laughs> lore throwback, um, <laughs> People who are just watching this for the first time are going to be like, what? Is she, is she having a fucking stroke? What is she talking about? Um, it's a rose bloom story time, my babies. Um, but you give out a lot of love and support to the people around you, some of you through your career. Um, people depend on you, I'm hearing very strongly. Um, right hand itchiness, if that resonates with you at all, my darling. Some of you could have recently gotten a pay raise or you're feeling nervous about asking for a pay raise and spirits very strongly ur urging you to ask for it. It will be successful. Um, but yeah, you bring a lot of fulfillment to, to people. You give a lot of love. You give from like an overflowing cup constantly, my darlings. And this person is saying very clearly, like one, Make sure that there's still enough in your cup for you. But two, I want to be part of what fills your cup for you. They, they have a lot of respect for you, I will say. A lot of adoration, but a lot of admiration and respect for you as well. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, let's pull the energy oracle. Let's mix it up a little bit from the last reading. Um, oh my god, where did you go? Just went fucking flying. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. appreciation. <laughs> Literally just said it 10 seconds ago. Thank you so much, my darlings. Beautiful confirmation. Um, this person feels very gentle, but I feel like in presence or stature or both, they're very, they command a, a, their space. 
Um, so they could be rather tall. They could be rather full figured. They could be ex like very muscular. Um, they could just have like a very lively, boisterous energy. Whatever space they take on is filled by them in, in the form of their energy. They're very present where they are. Like you can't, you feel this person very strongly. Door to romance. That's gorgeous, my loves. Threes and 33 is big numbers for you. Um, and three, three, threes, especially on the clock I'm hearing. But, um, so it's very sweet that, you know, they have this kind of commanding presence, this very present presence, and they feel so gentle and loving, like could not hurt a fly type people. The types of people who look very intimidating, but could not hurt a fly. Absolutely. Very soft spoken, very sweet, very sincere. I do hear them having a very loud laugh, like a very distinctive laugh that's very cute oh my god okay uh yeah no that's fine all right sure yeah okay i'll take it i'll take it um heat up and down the back as well if that resonates with you my loves okay we have uh goddess of the moon we have six chakra archangel metatron and i don't know why i grabbed that under the top one but for the six chakra to come out alongside goddess of the moon tells me that your intuition is very clear about this person uh we have angel of love we have the thinking woman we have victory and we have fourth chakra archangel raphael some of you could work in um the medical field or in healthcare in some form. Um, you could also work with this person and be, you know, rather close with this person, be, you know, close friends with this person. Um, but, 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 or counseling as well, I'm hearing for you, my darlings. Um, but yeah, a very strong intuitive connection to this person. Um, I'm hearing this person say, I want to see you win. Like, I want to see you go all the way. Um, so some of you could be... Some of you I'm hearing could be writing like your licensing exam soon. You could be worried about it or you could have kind of like put off writing your licensing exams for, you know, some your medical profession or your counseling or et cetera, et cetera. And this person saying like, I know you can do it. I want to see you do it. I want to see you win. Um, there's a lot of love here. A lot of very authentic, very genuine love. I'm picking up on, um, for some of you, this person could have helped you study um, so you could have gone to school together. You could be in the same profession. This person just could have helped you, you know, with your, your notes, your, you know, medical lingo or whatever you've got going on. But there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of really genuine appreciation here. This person sees you very truthfully for who you are in all of the different facets of who you are. And I will say the way that they see you so authentically is filled with such a pristine amount of respect in a way that I don't think you're used to. Um, and it's, it's gorgeous. The way that they value you is gorgeous. Exposed and revealed. Uh, call of the muse. And a deep breath. Yeah, okay, yeah. I do feel like you uh, and this person connect a lot. Um, in dreams, um, there is that psychic link to each other. There is, you know, seeing each other that way, feeling each other as well. Um, especially when you're stressed, I'm hearing. I feel like this person will pop up um, a lot in your in your dreams or in your thoughts. They're very they're a very comforting, very grounding presence for you. Um, and I feel like spiritually, like their higher self is very proud of that fact. I feel like in the physical, they don't yet know that. They will find out when you tell them. Um, but they're very grateful to be able to be a source of comfort to you because they do, they do have a very protective energy of you over you. They do want to protect you, to protect your energy, to ground you, to keep you safe, to keep you level. It's very gorgeous. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's pull these. Let's see what we, oh, all right, that was, okay, that was fast. Um, trust, oh, that's gorgeous, yeah. And change, okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so you've been through a lot of change, and it feels like um, that's why, at least in part, that's why this person hasn't, um, you know, taken the, the, 
step toward, you know, confessing their feelings in the physical to you, confessing their intentions, sharing their, their thoughts and feelings in, in a romantic sense with you because you have been going through a lot. And really, they're, they're not in any rush. It feels very strongly like this kind of energy, like they're just kind of going where the wind takes them. They don't want to push you. They don't want to pressure you. They don't want to jeopardize the connection that you have at all. Um, cause they're just happy to, to be in your life and to be, you know, even in just a, a platonic sense, they just really, they really, really, really genuinely care about and love you. It's really sweet. It's not a matter of, you know, okay, I'm sticking by because I know we're going to end up together. And if we don't, I'm going to be devastated and you're going to lose me forever. It's not that kind of a thing. It's like, I love you and I care about you and I value you so much. I don't want to jeopardize what we have because I know you've gone through a lot recently. So I'm just, I'm just happy to be in your life and I'm not in any rush to, to change that or to, you know, anything else. I'm just, I'm just happy. They're just, it's so cute. It's so cute. Um, I will say though, they are extremely attracted to you, very physically attracted to you as well. They do think you're absolutely gorgeous. I will say, I think, uh, I think the feeling is mutual as well. I think you're very, I think for those of you that, um, resonate with knowing this person in the physical, I think you tell them almost consistently how attractive they are. Um, and it it gets them bashful, I think, more than you know. Um, we have Queen of Wands, we have the High Priestess, we have the Three of Cups, and we have Strength, yeah. Yeah, so this person really, really, really wants to... Um, they want to quiet your fears, they want to quiet your anxieties, they want to be a, a stable source for you to lean on. Like, they know what you're capable of. They know how much you can get through, how much you can achieve on your own. But, you know, it's like if you need, you know, something stable to like rest your hand on, to lean on, to catch your breath against, they want to be that for you. They know you can do it on your own, but they want to support you in whatever way that they can. Um, definite uh, strong messages coming through in the form of dreams, my darlings, especially around full moons. Um, I feel like you get really restless around full moons. You have a really hard time sleeping. I do feel as though this person pops up into your head a lot, or you have a lot of conversations pertaining to the pull, to the pull moon. Goodness gracious. To the full moon. Um, you or them could be a fire sign. Uh, but, 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 but there is definitely an element of social circle here. So this is a person who you could know from childhood or from your teen years, or this is a person who you have a close bond with in your social circle. But there is a very strong sense of closeness and familiarity here that's very sweet and very lovely. Um, blah, 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 blah. Some of you could be in like a trifecta friendship dynamic as well. Like it's you, this person, and somebody else. Um, and I feel like for those of you that resonate with that, when feelings are shared, because I do feel as though you do have feelings for this person. Um, some of you might, you know, not yet entertain the idea of those feelings just because you've been going through a lot. Others of you, it could be, um, you know, that you, you're aware that you're attracted to them. You're aware that you, you have, you know, some form of romantic feeling for them, but you, you haven't really explored it yet. Um, and for those of you that kind of are starting to, or have realized the, the depth of your feelings for this person, you're worried like, well, how's this going to affect, you know, our, our other friend, it's not, my darlings. It's not. When two people are so good together and so lovely together, your person's telling me very clearly, like, we're good together. The people that love us and know us are going to be happy that we're happy. Like, you don't have to worry about anything. I do feel as though you concern yourself yourselves a lot with the opinions of others. And, you know, you really kind of hesitate on your forward momentum and on your actions and on your choices. Um... And then kind of contemplate the the ups and downs and ins and outs of all sorts of different scenarios about how your choices and actions 
would or could affect the people around you, whether or not they're close to you. It's just you're very conscious of, you know, the kind of ripple effect of your choices and actions on others. Um, but you two are wonderful, magnificent together, absolutely gorgeous. And again, the people that love you, the people that care about you, the people that know you are going to be happy for you, my darlings. Full stop on that one. Um, all right, my loves, let us pull some romance. Oh, excuse you, angels. And then, oh, that's cute. Um, and then we'll get some moonology. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I do feel like... Um, that resonates with work for a lot of you. I feel like you work with this person. A lot of you. I feel like you work with this person. Um, work on your partnership. It does feel there's, there's a lot of like quietness from this person. They're really not saying a lot. And I feel like that one is their nature, but two, it feels like you two haven't really been communicating as much as you're used to. Um, it feels like you've kind of been caught up in, in your head, in your circumstance and what you're dealing with, what you're going through, getting, getting through it. Um, and they're very understanding of that, but I do feel like they miss you a lot. I feel like you miss them a lot too. Um, and I'm hearing them say like, there's no pressure. There's no pressure to, to, you know, what we talk about or what we do. There's no pressure to, you know, tell me everything that's going on if you don't want to. It feels like that is what you want to do and you do find a lot of comfort in sharing that with this person. But they're saying like you're not obligated to, you know, if you just want to talk to them about nothing and anything, then it's open arms, my darlings. But I do feel as though, yeah, there's a lot of missing you here. There's a lot of you missing them. Um and it's just it's just a text, just a little voice message, just a little just a little call, you know, just a little call away. Um, and, and I'm hearing them say like, don't worry, nothing's changed. Um, so it does feel as though for some of you, it could be a significant amount of time since you've spoken to this person. Um, and in that time, some of you could, you know, have realized the, the feelings that you have for them. And that could, you know, be contributing to the hesitancy to reach out to them again. But I'm hearing them say like, nothing's changed. Nothing's going to change. The way that we are together is always going to be. It's a very, very, very beautiful, very strong dynamic that you have, my darlings. Um, full moon in Scorpio, breathe through the tension. New moon in Scorpio, go deeper. Okay, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and first quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe. Oh, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay. Um, so to have the full moon and then the new moon it does feel as though... You've ended a lot of cycles here, my darlings. You have ended a lot of a lot of what needed to be ended. You've released a lot of what needed to be released. You've gotten through what you needed to get through. And now you're in that new beginning phase, my darlings. And you are being called to, to be receptive to all of the wonderful things that you have worked for, that you're deserving of, and that you will be receiving, my darlings. And it feels like that's what this person wants for you. Because they recognize you, my loves. They see you. They appreciate you. They they are aware of your value and your worthiness. They know that if anyone on this earth deserves wonderful things to happen to them, it's you above all, my darlings. This person treasures you and adores you. Um, so being receptive to those wonderful things, my loves. Very, very beautiful. Very gorgeous. They Yeah, they know. They're, they're saying very clearly, like, I know... I'm hearing them say, I know that what you want more than anything, you're meant to have. There's something specific that you want to achieve or that you have been trying to manifest. Have been. It, I'm hearing you say, I've been trying to manifest it. It feels like you've been actively manifesting it for quite a long time. And then I'm hearing your person say, I know that you can have that. I know that it's already yours. You just have to. You just have to be willing to receive it. It's gorgeous energy. All right, my loves, let us excuse my chair, um, for rolling into the wall. Um, let's pull some charms. Let's look at, let's look at what's happening in there. Okay. 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 Make room everybody. Um, all right. I'll try and make this quiet because it, it can be quite loud. Suction. What the fuck was that? Oh, okay. Hang on. 
Hang on. Stray charm. Stray charm. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's a saucy one. Oh. 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 We have lips. We have lips. Okay. Okay. There's some sort of song, I think. I think, because I'm hearing it. It's your kiss is on my lips or something. Some, something to do with that, if that resonates with you. I feel like if that resonates with you, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Um, so you could have shared a kiss. You could desperately want to kiss this person. Um, they could desperately want to kiss you. Um, I'm hearing them say very strongly the way that you feel, I feel too. And I feel like that's an important confession because I feel like you get so stuck in your heads about, you know, I, I'm the only one that feels this way. I'm... You know, uh, some of you, you know, are like, I'm just comforted by this person. So, you know, my feelings aren't valid. It's just a comfort thing. But you feel the way that you feel, my darlings. If you feel attracted to somebody, if you feel, you know, romantic feelings towards somebody, that you're allowed to feel that way. Um, and I'm hearing them say it's reciprocated. Absolutely gorgeous. Very sweet. You two want to kiss each other. I love to see it. Um, we have I love you. We have a little rocking horse. Um, we have a leaf that's cute. Uh, we have a smiley face. I, when this was flipped over, it looked like a compass. Um, if that resonates with you, my darling, somebody could have uh, a compass or could have had uh, a male figure, male, male relative who was either like a, a sailor or a fisherman or, uh, had a compass or collected compasses, um, or was very like outdoorsy, you know, very like camper wildernessy. Uh, hunt, hunter type person you know those 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 types of people uh we have a red heart we have a little cute little pumpkin carriage cinderella one of you um uh you or them could be very into disney you could love cinderella you could love the you know the classic renaissance type uh disney's um we have constellation i should know what it is this is my this is what i do for a living i don't i'm so sorry um <laughs> don't right now uh we have a little happy cloud we have a cute little key with a heart um we have another rocking horse okay we have are you chanel number five we have chanel number five uh you or them could wear that perfume and we have fearless yeah yeah and that to come out alongside strength earlier this and then the seven of uh seven of wands you are strong my babies you are strong you are powerful this person recognizes it this is your personal hype person they are happy to hype you up um we have the red wine glass as well so it does feel as though it feels like there's so much trust between you and this person it feels like there's so much trust this is a person who especially with the heart key this is a person who you feel safe being vulnerable with and this person is saying that they recognize that they recognize you know that you are able to be vulnerable with them they appreciate it they they don't take it for granted when you you know bear your soul to them when you you know delve into your secrets your feelings your your vulnerabilities it's not lost on them you know what i mean my darlings it's not something that you know they just like skim over and they're like oh yeah we're just gossiping like they recognize that to be that open and to be that bear um and and to lay your heart on the line with them is not something that comes easy or naturally to you and they do appreciate and value the fact that you are able to to be that way with them um and it doesn't it's it's not something that they kind of skimp over my darlings um you or this person could be a twin Twins could run in your family. Um, I also, for those of you that want to have children, I do see you having children with this person in the long run. Um, for a lot of you, I see it being twins or at the very least, uh, having two children with this person. Um, bar, 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 bar. <laughs> what is the leaf showing me? The leaf keeps jumping out at me. The leaf keeps jumping out at me. Mmm... Something about autumn. 
autumn in the northern hemisphere when the leaves are falling so like later autumn not like beginning autumn like uh, late October November like the leaves are falling from the trees I do feel as though that's either when you have had uh you know a deep conversation some of you that's when you could have kissed this person or that's when you will have a significant milestone in your connection could be when you have your first kiss could be when you confess feelings to each other we have the i love you here very cute very sweet my heart she's full um or when you solidify a relationship when you confess to one another um I'm hearing them say it's going to be happily ever after, which is beautiful because at the beginning of the reading, my darlings, I did hear you putting that out into the universe, that you were done with, you know, the people wasting your time, the people who didn't value you, the people who didn't see you, recognize you. And we've gotten confirmation after confirmation in this reading that this is a person who appreciates you, who values you, who sees you for who you truly are and all of the wonderful facets of who you are, my darlings. And it's very, 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 very beautiful. I just feel like, yeah, they're, sa they're saying very clearly it's not, it's not meant to happen right now. There's things that you're going through right now and they want to support you and they want to help you through those things. And they're like, don't worry, the things we need to talk about regarding you and I, we're going to talk about, but right now it's about you. And that's very sweet. Is there anything else? They give me a shiver and they tell me, no, it's a very big shiver, very big shiver. This person, I will say, when they say something they mean it completely they never say like half truths they never say something without meaning it entirely and, and sincerely they never say something without a hundred percent certainty i should say like it's very sure like that shiver that they gave me when i was like is there anything else and they were like nope that's it i was like oh okay oh oh all right and it's that's yeah there's a lot of trust here you can really 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 genuinely trust this person. I think we got trust in, uh, in one of the decks. Um, like very sincerely. Yeah. This is a very authentic person, my darlings. And you know that, but just further confirmation from, from spirit that you can completely trust them as they present themselves to you, my darlings. It's very beautiful. Um, group number two, my sweet, beautiful darlings. I hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please, let me know, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. Love to talk to you. If the reading resonated, my energy resonated, please consider subscribing. All of my links for Patreon with the uh, extended readings, exclusive readings, um, my Instagram, my Etsy store, my email for more information on private readings, pricing, and all that good stuff are down in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here with me, my darlings. I'm so very happy for you, so very excited for you, and so very grateful to you, and I love you very, very much. Bye. Hello, 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 my beautiful loves. Group number three. I am so fucking excited for this one. I just, I got good feelings, my loves. I don't know what we're feeling, but it's good feelings. It's good feelings. This is deep stuff we're getting into, my babies. You know it. I know it. Let's look into it. Um, we have true love. This love is once in a lifetime. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's so nice. It's so nice. It's like chest fluttering beauty. It's gorgeous. Um, and we have new love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This is happening very quickly, my loves. This is happening very quickly. This has been in your radar for quite a bit of time. Um, but it is happening very quickly. This is very passionate. This is very deep. This is very authentic. This is the real deal. This is permanence, my darlings. This is forever stuff. This is, I have been waiting my entire life for you. And I don't even know if I've known that for as long as I should have. I found you. We're meant to be together. We've been together lifetimes past. I am never letting you go. I'm hearing them tell me you're their wish come true. You know, when you wish for your person and you don't just you know you don't just put out there I want a partner you put out like I wish for this person I wish for a person who's this who I can you know do this for who treats me like this who I can be this with etc etc like your person your wish come true you are that to this person absolutely fucking stunning energy my babies we have the four of wands holy fuck holy fuck okay so if you you 
it's good, my babies. I gotta tell you, this, this is soulmate, soulmate energy, my babies. This is divine counterpart energy. Like, this is the real shit. Um, if you felt drawn to pile one at all, my darlings, um, it does feel as though there's messages in pile one for you as well, my loves. Um, especially pertaining to the four of wands. It feels like four of wands is a very, very, very big card for this connection. Um, so if you watch other readings or do readings on yourself, etc., etc., when the four of wands pops up, it feels like that's your person, your divine counterpart being like, I'm here, kiss on the cheek, love you, let's talk about it type stuff. Um, and then we have uh, 17 gray. 17 is... Uh, 15 is the devil, 16 is the tower, 17, what is 17? 17. It's not judgment. What is 17? 17 is... I'm not looking this up because I'm a professional and I'm good at what I do. And if you heard my phone unlock, no, you didn't. Just like if you watched Rosebloom Storytime and it sounded like I was the one who knew how to pick locks. No, I wasn't. That didn't happen. Um, <laughs> the star. Okay. Fuck me. I know what I'm talking about. No, that's true. I should know that. 17 is the star. Yeah, okay. 17. 17 is an important book. Okay, anyway. Um, so, the star. Which, really, the star card I'm seeing is actually the star card in the Light Seer's Tarot, which is um, a woman with, like, her hands over her chest, and there's light going up into the sky in the form of, like, shooting stars, and it's her heart's wish. And that's what this image reminds me of. It's like the two of you have wished for each other forever. It feels like both of you have been single for quite some time. Um, it feels like, I feel like one of you could be extremely intuitive, extremely intuitive, extremely tapped in. One of you, for a lot of you, it feels like you, my darlings, um, is very tapped into the energy of the other person. Doesn't feel like you know this person in the physical yet, Quite a few of you do know of this person. Um, it does feel like you meet them online. I am feeling that very, 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 very strongly. There is some element of distance here, especially with this. It's like calling out to somebody. It's like, you know, find me. Like, that's what the wish is. It's, I, I hear your person saying that very clearly. It's like, just find me. I'm right here. You're very close to connecting, though. Um, but somebody is watching somebody else's social media. Um, and it does feel as though that's how you connect initially is through social media. But yeah, wishes coming true for sure for the both you my darlings and this is yeah this is forever this is gorgeous like this person is saying very clearly that you're there forever you're all they've wanted it's fine that you know they've waited they've been single they've you know it, I'm hearing them say like I understand now why it was so hard to feel a connection with somebody else to feel, you know, to, to meet somebody and, and say, yeah, you know, you're attractive. Yeah. You're fun. But like, there's just not that something. And it's like, they didn't know what they were looking for in the form of that something, but they're like, I just know that I know when I'm going to feel it and you're who they feel that with and their higher self knows that very clearly absolutely gorgeous energy we have fourth chakra archangel raphael we have the angel of balance so definite past lives together we have the door to value we have the sun this is gorgeous energy um and we have deceit okay yes so it feels like together the two of you are extremely abundant extremely financially abundant it does feel as though um at least one of you right now is very financially secure much more financially secure than they ever thought they would be um, <laughs> there's a lot of financial abundance that they're very happy to have but together you create something beautiful i do feel as though you you end up working together um i don't feel as though 
Mm. I don't feel that's how you meet. I feel like what you do for a living is they're telling me it's a bit different, but the difference is pretty important in what we do. Um, it does feel like both of you work online though. There is, you both spend a lot of time on the internet, a lot of time on the computer, a lot of time on the internet. I feel like both of you have home offices. You could work from home. Um, and it feels like your work, like you put a lot of yourselves into your work. So your work is very, either very creatively driven or you're, you know, you have your own business, you're your own boss, you're in charge of a lot of what happens through your work. It feels like a lot of you and a lot of this person exists in what you do for a living. Um, and that's beautiful because when you connect to each other, when you find each other online, it's it's like, okay, this pull that I feel is so authentic because I'm seeing parts of this person in what they're putting out into the world, into what they're creating, into what they're doing. It's very gorgeous energy. A lot of heart chakra energy between you both, my darlings. The color green feels very significant. Somebody in this connection could have green eyes or green in their eyes. Um, but yeah, a lot of like warmth in the chest. I feel like when you... When you think of this person, it feels like a very warm hand, like comfortably resting over your chest. But also there's a focus on, on the chest in the form of anxiety in the last three months in particular. I feel like some of you could have been experiencing, you or this person could have experienced um, like chest pains in the form of anxiety because there's such a... There's so much drive and so much commitment to what you do for a living and what this person does for a living that you can push yourselves too hard. Um, you two mirror each other quite a lot, I will say. And with the uh, heart chakra as well, heart chakra, um, you or this person could be a Taurus or a Leo or have the traits thereof. Um... But yeah, a lot of focus on the heart chakra. I do feel as though the anxiety has settled quite a bit. You're really finding your balance. And I feel like that's angel of balance, my babies. Um, something your person's telling me very clearly is that we needed to find that balance in order to find each other. Like we needed to not, you know, get so lost in, in the tide of things. Get so, you know, have the waves kind of crash over our head. Like we needed to set boundaries. We needed to find balance. We needed to, to find equal ground in, you know, giving from ourselves, but also giving back to ourselves. And it feels like that kind of give and take, that kind of balance is so important for your connection to succeed because it does feel as though both of you give a lot of yourselves to, to people. People demand a lot of you, give a lot of energy to your, of yourselves to other people. And there are people, you know, as, as with anything, my darlings, there are people who are going to be happy to take as much of whatever you will give as they can. Um, and so it feels like an important aspect of the confirmations, my loves. I, I can't even right now um, of, you know, coming together and finding each other was we need to have set those boundaries with the people that we give to because we need to have enough to give back to ourselves and then in turn have enough to give to our relationship because you both want this relationship to exceed to succeed exceed oh my goodness um above all else like you are so committed to each other already spiritually it is absolutely gorgeous we have the oracle's gift at the bottom of the deck my darlings um so two messages there one again at, at least one of you is psychic as fuck, but it does feel as though there's a very strong psychic link between the both of you, but also the cup of tea. Um, so we're getting, uh, UK energy. We are getting, uh, Irish energy. We're getting Australian energy. We're getting New Zealand energy. We are getting, um, Eastern Asian countries. We're getting, um, who else loves a cup of tea? Mostly those I'm picking. I'm also picking up on South Africa. Um, we're also getting uh, South Asian uh, energies as well. Um, in in 
you or this person, whoever resonates with that, my darlings. We have birds of a feather. We have healing the heart. We have the roses kiss and we have quieting the mind. Definitely. So the two of you could overthink a city to its knees, my loves. Abs <laughs> fucking lutely. Um, and it does feel as though this person is saying very clearly, like just when your overthinking gets to the point of, of anxiety, of worry, of fear, especially pertaining to this connection, because there's so much hope in this connection, my darlings. There's so much, there's so much star energy in this connection. It's like, I'm hearing, um, a dream is a wish your heart makes. Like it's, it's like you know that this is for you. You know that this is for you, but in that knowing there's this kind of twinkle of anxiety of like what if I'm putting so much hope into something that won't come to fruition and when that happens I can hear your person say like Shh, like kiss on the forehead it's okay just trust in this trust in us trust in your intuition because your intuition is top of the pops my babies um, a roses kiss ladybugs um, pink roses are very big confirmations for you if I'm not mistaken I do believe this card came up in uh, pile number one as well we have healing the heart which is a beautiful confirmation for um, the heart chakra energy here my darlings as well as the quieting of the anxiety um, the healing of the heart chakra the opening of the heart chakra it does feel as though you two have had to go through a lot of heart chakra opening to find each other, especially in the last year, um, to two years in particular before, before this reading. Um, and I can hear your person saying like, you you weren't alone in that. Like I had to go through that too. It does feel as though someone in this connection is about five to 10 steps behind the other person. Some of you could be you being behind. Some of you could be your person being behind, but there's someone in this connection that's just a little bit behind in their journey. Um, but Aside from that, your journeys are really mirroring each other into, it's like you're, you know, on these parallel sidewalks and then the sidewalks just merge and then there you go, you find each other. Um, birds of a feather, you're definitely going to recognize each other, my darlings, definitely going to recognize each other. There's going to be so much familiarity in your energies towards the other person but also the way that you find each other is just it's complete serendipity I'm hearing your person say like it just doesn't make sense like you literally just fall into each other's laps and just feel so drawn to each other instantly that it's like how does this how does this make sense um wrens magpies doves Sparrows, crows, and ravens are very big um, confirmations for this connection, as well as snowy owls, my darlings. Um, roses as well, very big, big signs for this connection, very big signs, especially um, like thorny stemmed roses, um, that being like a big signifier for some reason, that's standing out a lot to you. Um... With birds of a feather as well, it does feel like there's an element of community that that connects you to each other. Like somehow, like it does feel like what you do is a bit different from what this person does. So it's like your community and their community kind of merge. You could have online fan bases. You could have, um, you know, rather significant like social followings online um, and some aspect of that like Venn diagrams together and then that's how you connect but there's definitely a focus on community here um, I'm also hearing this person say the people that love and support them really encourage them to to go towards you um, and and your circle and their circle fit really well together like you just even though you're you're different individual people and your circles are different individual people you fit together perfectly which just speaks to how perfect you two are for each other um i do feel as though i'm hearing three to eight past lives together with this person so you've known each other before which really makes a lot of sense uh, for the, the level of familiarity that you two have with each other. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very gorgeous energy. Um, songs as well. You two have really similar music tastes, but also the songs that you, it feels like when you find this person, when you start, you know, 
connecting with them when you it feels like you watch them for quite a little bit of time or vice versa or perhaps both um but right before you connect with them or as you're you know getting to know them it feels like your music taste it's almost like you're gonna have this like burst of nostalgia like you're going to start listening to music you hadn't listened to in like 10 15 years or something like that um just like very natural resurgence of of this music that you loved and it feels like that taste in music is very similar to each other um a lot of messages sent uh back and forth through music though we have potential we have illumination and we have security gorgeous yeah so definite past lives together this is a very 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 strong very safe relationship um safe in the way that it is divinely protected um because there is there's a lot of attention on this connection there's a lot of attention on you both there's a lot of a lot of energy around you both a lot of people around you both um at least one of you has people who are you know quite interested in them romantically um there's a lot of charisma in the in the energy that you both have um so very divinely protected your your person is telling me like don't worry there are people who take very good care of us it does feel as though your spirit guides and their spirit guides are very closely linked working very closely together to not only bring you together but to protect you too um and to protect your connection and to allow it to grow and to allow it to be as i mean you got the four of wands my darlings that is security that is stability that is longevity that is commitment that is marriage that is celebration that is all those good beautiful things um, I'm also hearing them say very clearly that the way that you see me isn't too good to be true. Like you're not imagining it. You have very clear, but very, um, you know, very like ex almost extravagant, um, visions about this person. And then you kind of come back down from it and you're like, well, that can't be real. It can't be all that good. And they're saying like, no, you're seeing me very clearly. King of Cups energy. That's gorgeous. It does feel as though, um, the King and Queen of Cups are going to come up a lot in readings pertaining to this connection, my darlings. And then of course the Four of Wands, we have the Fool, uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. That's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, we have the Two of Cups. It's the cutest thing I ever did see. Then we have the Nine of Cups. Wishes coming true, my babies. I don't know how many ways I can say it. Wishes coming true, bottom of the deck, is the Knight of Cups. This is so romantic. This is so romantic. This person very deeply romantic. As romantic as you deserve. It does feel as though you spend a lot of time thinking about romance and in investing thought into romance you are very romantic people you love romance movies you love romance books you love love and you have thought about love for a very long time it does feel as though as i said you and this person have been single for quite a long time but that's okay because this person is telling me we've had enough time to to discover what it is we want what it is we're worthy of what it is we're willing to give and both of you are willing to give your all for your person. And that is why you're connecting to somebody who is on that wavelength, who is willing to give their all for you as well. This is a person who is loving, who is gentle, who is romantic, who is compassionate, who is very intuitive, but who is also honest, who is, who is, has a lot of integrity, somebody who is not, you know, a pushover who, and it feels like that's something that both of you have had to work towards to not, you know, give into people pleasing tendencies all the time to not compromise your own, uh, comfort and well-being for the sake of the comfortability of others to prioritize yourselves when it counts. Um, I mean, we have the wishing well here and we have the nine of cups, my babies, like that is being in your power that is recognizing your worth, but that is also knowing that your wishes are coming true. New beginnings coming very quickly, especially between the months of June and August, um, and then the two of cups, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. There is an element of distance between you both some, an element of having to cross water. Um, but it's not something that stops this connection. This is a very, very, very strong, solid connection. I can hear your person saying very clearly, like, don't worry, I'll find you. I just need you to see me kind of a thing. It's very sweet. Very, very, very sweet. There is an element of, yeah, living in different countries or at the very least having different cultural backgrounds, but just 
seeing each other, recognizing each other, knowing each other is your person in such a strong, genuine way. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I can hear this person saying, you know, I had to do the work too, because it feels like you have been through a lot of trials and tribulations. You've been through a lot of transformative periods. You've been through a lot of awakenings, a lot of tower moments, a lot of things that, you know, have been uncomfortable and have been difficult to get through. And I can hear them saying like, I had to get through that too, but it, it, it's worth it. It's worth it because it's brought me to you. And I feel like you're going to feel the same when you connect with this person is like, okay, I get it now. I get why I had to, you know, release those things, even though at the time they weren't things I wanted to let go of. And I get that, you know, I had to kind of, um, jump from unsteady thing to unsteady thing to let it fall away until I found what was steady and stable so that I could build, uh, build upon, you two are going to have so much success. There's a lot of creativity, a lot of passion in this connection. Um, a lot of like original ideas. You could be writers, could be filmmakers, could be artists, could be photographers. Um, that there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of creativity. Um, and a, I can hear your person saying we had to get to the balance between the head and the heart because we have the king of swords here and we have the king of cups. That's head, that's heart. And it's really important to have that balance between both. And that's one of the most difficult aspects of heart chakra activation is being able to trust the heart excuse me, fully, because, you know, the head can trick us, the head can get caught up in itself, it can, you know, deceive us, the heart never will, but to have that clear connection between the head and the heart allows us to see things with authentic clarity, um, and it does feel as though you both are in that, uh, position now we have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment this is happening very quickly past life relationship as i said my darlings gorgeous confirmation thank you so much you have known each other before uh give your relationship a chance work on your partnership passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy uh calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visual visualizations help bring us together and heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay so i can hear your person saying yeah bottom of the deck energy is stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance it does feel as though um what are we pulling we okay uh, it does feel as though some of you have a hard time keeping faith in this connection, even though, you know, you're intuitively tapped into each other, even though, you know, you've had dreams, you've got synchronicities, you've had visions, you've seen them in meditations, you've heard them, you've felt them. Uh, some of you could be watching them. It is difficult to maintain faith in this connection um, while you wait. And there's so much confirmation here to trust your heart, trust that you have connected to this person, you've been led to this person and vice versa for good reason. Because you're meant to find each other, because you're meant to be together, that familiarity that you feel with this person is authentic and is truthful. And they're saying, just hold on to that. Believe in that. That's not for nothing. Because that those visualizations are your manifestations that trust in what you will have with this person does empower the manifestation to come into the physical and it will my darlings it's going to happen very strongly it's just a matter of time it does feel as though right now at the very least your person is focused on their career um focused on building something secure and stable but it feels this feels so close my loves i have to say this feels so 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 close um and it's it's as good as you have felt it will be my darlings you aren't creating something out of nothing i can hear your person saying very clearly like you're not you're not making anything up this isn't a fairy tale like we're going to have happily ever after we're going to to have everything that you've seen us have but it's not something you're making up. It's truth. It's authentic. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have first quarter moon in Taurus, release control. Uh, last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. First quarter moon in Cancer, push through any insecurity. And full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. I want to take one more, please. Um, full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. Okay, gorgeous. So I was just about to say, um, and the bottom of the deck is first quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe. So I was just about to say, um, I feel like a lot of you are really 
tightly grasping on timelines. Um, and I feel like you've received timelines and then it doesn't come to fruition and then you lose, you know, it's like little, little chips away taken at your, you know, taken away of your belief in this situation and belief in this connection, belief in, in, you know, this person and what you've, and you start to doubt your intuition. You start to doubt what you have known about this connection and no, my darlings, no, my darlings, things just happen. Things come up, you know, we can receive the message that something's going to happen in two weeks time. And then somewhere along the line, there's some sort of roadblock and that timeline gets extended. But just because that happens, it doesn't mean that it's never happening. It's just the ebb and flow, my darling. So don't hold so tightly onto the timeline. Instead, hold tightly onto your visualizations, onto the belief and faith that you will find each other, that you've known each other before, that the familiarity you have always felt with a person who you haven't always had a name or a face to put that familiarity to is going to connect with you in this lifetime, that you are going to find each other and that it's going to happen exactly when it's meant to my darlings trusting the ebb and flow as things go trusting that the universe always has your best interest at heart and that you two are going towards each other and that you will connect exactly when you're meant to and I know it's hard to have that level of faith consistently my darlings but not getting so hard on yourselves not getting so dejected just just trusting trusting fully and before you know it my darlings it really feels like yeah, it really feels like it's going to happen. And I can hear your person saying very clearly, you're worthy of this. Um, because it feels like sometimes you can get caught up in your heads and be like, well, maybe I'm asking for too much. And your person's saying, no, you're asking for exactly what you're deserving of. I want to be what you're deserving of. And that's what I'm working towards. It's gorgeous energy, my darlings. Okay, let us... Excuse my chair. Let us... Pull some charms and see what we get through that. Oh, I messed that up so severely. Goodness me. I am so sorry. There we go. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm going to try and do this here. It's a bit loud. Suction. Don't mind if I do. Sorry, it's late. <laughs> I want just a touch more. There we go. Okay, so we have the letter U and the letter D. Oh my goodness, excuse you. There we go. We have love. That's very cute. You feel this person in your heart very clearly, my darlings. You feel this person like a very comforting warmth in your heart. And they're telling me they feel that too. It's very sweet. Um, live your dream. Live your dream twice. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so that really resonates with the fact that both of you have really significant goals that you want to achieve you really want to build something great and something exciting and it does feel as though you're going to have that um but it also feels like you're going to build that together as well like you start building it as individuals you meet you find each other and then you build something even greater together like empire vibes for sure my darlings um we have a candy cane we have a unicorn we have a cute little bird we have a guitar so definitely um music between you both you communicate a lot through music also when you connect um you, ex you share a lot of songs with each other. You communicate a lot through music. Um, we have a lightning bolt and a flamingo. We have cancer. And we have, oh, sneaky letter. Uh, we have a K. <laughs> My name starts with K. Um, <laughs> we have a cherry blossom. We have a butterfly. We have a dolphin. We have this funky little moon. This always reminds me of Cardcaptor Sakura. Um, and we have a mermaid. Okay, so I feel like 
um, spring is going to be very significant for your connection, but also cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms, the symbolism of cherry blossoms, especially when you meditate, I feel like when you connect with your person, you could be seeing cherry blossoms, but cherry blossoms are big, big synchronicities in this connection. Um, the holidays, especially Christmas holidays or winter holidays, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, that kind of time period, you know, December, uh, January, that sort of time frame um, is very significant. You could, um, when you connect with this person, I feel like they, they have a very significant celebration with their family and they bring you along for that. And that means a lot to you because it's one, it confirms like how accepted and welcomed you are in, in their social circle, in their family, et cetera, et cetera. But also the importance that they place on you to be a part of something that's so significant to them. Um, one of you could be a musician or uh, at the very least know how to sing, play guitar, play an instrument, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, It feels like one of you at the very least is very interested in anime um, or I'm hearing something to do with either video games or one of you could work for a Japanese company. Um, blah, 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 blah. Butterflies are very big signifiers as well for this connection. It feels like there's grandmotherly energy here. So it, uh, I feel like you, your grandmother or great grandmother and this person's grandmother, great grandmother, um, are in cahoots to bring you both together. It's absolutely gorgeous energy, but yeah, you definitely are both going towards your dreams and what's beautiful is that that's all encompassing like I can hear your person saying like yes we're going to achieve our dreams but our dreams also pertain to finding each other like that's part of your dream is it's not just about a job it's not just about money it's not just about a certain level of recognition or fame or etc cetera, etc cetera. part of your dream is connecting with each other and finding each other and that is going to happen the fact that we have that twice is spirit being like no i said what i said and it's true for both of you like it's not just one person achieving the dream and the other along for the ride your dreams coincide your dreams are each other and that's a very beautiful energy my darlings is there anything else oh they give me a shiver and they tell me no i do feel like cancer season is going to be significant for this connection as well um if you are past cancer season then the following cancer season is going to be significant, which is end of June to end of July. Um, but it's a, it's a really beautiful connection. My loves really beautiful connection, really strong soulmate energy in this connection. Um, I love it. I love it. I love how many times over, um, the message of wishes coming true came through. I think that's the cutest thing. Cause that's what this person keeps saying over and over is like, no, I've wished for you forever. Like I've wished for you in lifetimes before I've wished for you in this lifetime and the fact that it's coming true means everything and it's beautiful. And I feel like it, it's an important confirmation for you as well as like, you know, you're not wishing for too far beyond what you're meant to have. Like you're wishing for what you're meant to have for a reason, my darlings. Gorgeous energy. Um, I hope that you enjoy that, my loves. If you did, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. Would love to talk to you. Um, if the reading resonated, my energy resonated, please consider subscribing. All of my links for Patreon with the exclusive 18 plus readings, the extended readings, so on and so forth. Uh, my Instagram, my Etsy store, and my email for more information on private readings and pricing and all that are down in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am really, really happy for you. This is a gorgeous connection. Very itchy nose if that resonates with you, my loves. Um, but this is a beautiful connection, my loves, and you deserve the very best I feel that and I'm hearing your person say that and I am so grateful to you for allowing me to connect to your energy and the energy of your person and I love you very very much bye hello 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 my beautiful darlings last but certainly not ever least group number four if you picked this card choose love you always have choice make yours with love this is your reading on what confession your person has for you what they want to confess what they want to tell you um i'm very very much enjoying the readings that we've gotten so far it's beautiful energy it's so loving it's so supportive it's so warm 
I love love. I don't know how many ways I can say it, my babies. I love love. I'll never shut up about it. You can't make me. Um, actions speak loudly is your other card. Express your love through actions. Okay, we have judgment. And we have illusion, which is the moon card. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got going on? What do we got going on? Hmm... Okay, I can feel that this is a pre-existing connection that you have. This is somebody that you know. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like this is a person who you are already romantically involved with. Could be in a committed relationship. Could have started dating recently. And there's an element of... There's like a lot of watchfulness I'm hearing your person tell me. It's like it, you're watching them a lot and you're. it's like you're anticipating something being revealed you're anticipating you know them like you know the the jig is up kind of thing it's like you know you're anticipating the opportunity to be like I knew you were hiding something I knew you weren't being genuine with me I knew there was more going on blah 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 but spirit saying like no no it feels like that is a response that that's coming up from past hurts um, and it feels like there's some sort of misunderstanding that's happened, some sort of miscommunication that has, you know, had a kind of domino effect within you to be like, oh my God, this is a cycle repeating. But it feels like this person is much more genuine than the people that you've dealt with in the past because I'm, I'm not getting any malicious intent here, my darlings. I'm not getting any kind of dishonesty. I'm not getting any shady business, any kind of hiding anything. Um, it feels like you're kind of, you know, painting a different picture than what is actually happening out of a place of, you know, fear out of it, out of, out of a place of anticipating wanting to protect yourself from being hurt. But it's like, you're not going to be getting hurt, my darlings. And it feels like your person wants to communicate with you, but you've got like a bit of a barrier up now. Um, okay. Let's look into that a little bit more. Let us pull the energy oracle yeah there's a lot of a lot of confusion here a lot of a lot of unclarity uh third chakra archangel camuel uh woman holding heart and community okay that's beautiful okay 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 all right, I got it. I've got it. Some of you have kind of, you've got somebody talking in your ear, some like friends of yours, some, some person you've confided in, and it feels like you met this person and I can hear your person telling me like, I felt the way that you trusted me and opened up to me right off the bat. And you did. It feels like you put your heart on your sleeve, my babies. You felt that this person was different. You felt that you found somebody authentic that you could, you know, open up to. And then you did. And something happened. So it feels like something happened in their personal life that caused them to, you know, not be able to be as present in your connection, not be able to, you know, respond as quickly, not be able to, you know, devote as much time to you. Something out of their control. And then it kind of caused you to pull yourself back and be like, oh my God, what have I done? I opened up myself, you know, too early to this person and I let this person in way too fast. And it's like, no, no, no. Like I can hear them say like, no, I'm grateful you did that. Thank you for doing that. I don't want you to feel like you have to take that back. But then you have somebody in your social circle in your ear being like, baby, I told you that was the wrong idea. And it's like, no, it's not. And don't allow, you know, people love you and people will love you in all different kinds of ways, my darlings. And people, you know, worrying about you and wanting to protect you is a form of love. But at the same time, your connection is your connection and people should never have so much of an opinion that it changes your perception of things as they stand. You know what I mean, my darlings? Um, people can voice their concerns, can voice their opinions, but at the end of the day, your connection is yours and the action you take is your own and the decisions should be your own. Um, 
communication is needed in this in this dynamic very clearly my loves um just just some openness just some you know need to kind of clear the air a little bit in a way that you know allows this person to explain themselves because they want to like they don't want this you know kind of cold shoulder energy and they don't want this distance between you both it feels like you know there's just something that they were obligated to deal with some like a family matter or or a work matter it feels for a lot of them it feels more personal it feels like a, a family matter um we have the royal you we have broken open yeah you yeah you're just you're feeling vulnerable and you feel nervous we have uh, a tall tale okay yeah so this this person's not lying to you my babies i i feel very strongly this person is as authentic as you are there's a lot of like six of pentacles energy like what you're giving you're receiving from this person um and this person does value you very strongly my loves this person does see your worth very clearly they would not ever take advantage of you i can hear them saying very clearly like i could never i could never do anything to to hurt this person it feels like you um some of you have even like shared your your experiences your hurts with them and so they they have a better understanding of what you've been through of your past experiences and they want no part in being an aspect of any any kind of negative energy in your life um they value you way too much for that we have relaxation purity yeah and diligence okay that's gorgeous yeah this is good this is wholesome like this person values you but they i can hear them saying like i just need you to talk to me um white foxes and rainbows are very big uh signifiers for this connection my loves um yeah they're saying like i just need you to talk to me i just need you to open up to me um some of you could be in a connection with somebody you really love their eyes. They have very, like, intense, very piercing eyes. Very, like, steely eyes, I'm hearing some of you say. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. Uh, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm hearing we have the Queen of Cups as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah. Feeling confident that, you know, you made the right choice to open up your heart to this person, my darlings. Um, oh, we have the six of pentacles. I was just saying earlier, the give and take, my darlings, the give and take, the confirmations, they're gorgeous. Um, but feeling confident in that, you know, you made the right choice to open up your heart to this person. But also I'm hearing this person say very clearly, like, don't give up on me, you know, allow me to, to explain myself, allow me to apologize, allow me to talk to you. Um, but also seeing things with clarity you know not painting them in a certain light and then not giving them the chance to to bear themselves in a truthful way do you know what I mean my darlings because that's not fair to them and you know you wouldn't find that fair if if the shoe was on the other foot and if they were kind of assuming you know you were a certain way or doing a certain thing based on actions of people in your past because you know you can't you can't hold the actions of somebody else over over someone new. That's not fair to this new person, you know. The actions of the person you were with before were not their own. What they what your person in the past did is not the responsibility of this new person. And so you have to release that, you have to clear that energy, and you have to give this person the opportunity to show themselves in a in a truthful light. Um because they want to, they, they really, really, they really miss you. I can hear them saying very clearly that they miss you. Um, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. And wedding, this situation involves marriage. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> this is so cute. You want to be connected to this person very, very, very deeply. You want to be connected to this person. You want to commit to this person. And I feel like that thought can scare you a little bit because of how easily you reach that conclusion. Whereas before, it feels like that's something that kind of took you a long time to get to. And in some, some cases, some dynamics, you had to kind of 
convince yourself like, yeah, you know, we've been together this long. I should fully commit to this person, even though it didn't feel right. But this time it feels right. So trusting that instinct. Um, but yeah, letting go of control issues, allowing this to develop in a way that it's going to develop, whether it's faster or slower than you anticipate it being. If it feels right, if it feels natural, my darlings, going with the flow of that and not having to narrate every single step of this dynamic because it's not fair to you and that's not fair to this person, my darlings. And I can hear your person saying very clearly, like, I, I want this. I want you, but you know, we have to trust in each other. We have to trust in this connection and allow it to unfold. And in order to do that, you need to have communication in, in, in a clear way, my darlings. You need to, you know, allow yourself to not only open up to this person, but to be receptive to this person's energy as well, my loves, and to, you know, not kind of hold them at arm's length to maintain your own safety. Because if you're doing that, you're not allowing this relationship the opportunity to bloom and grow and develop in the way that it's being called to and you're you know nothing is going to develop from a an iron fist you know it's like if you have a little a little seedling that's just sprouting and you crush it in your fist it's not going to grow but if you cradle it and you just let it let it do its own thing and you take care of it and you nurture it it's going to grow into something beautiful my loves and that's what this person wants to do alongside you um and you deserve that. You deserve somebody who wants to work at something to see it become successful alongside you, my darlings. Okay, let's see what's happening with the moonology. We have first quarter moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is a really wonderful thing that has come into your life, my darlings. This connection is really, really, really good and you deserve it. Um, so you, you don't need to question how good it is because you deserve good things. It's not there to trick you, my loves. I promise you that. Uh, first quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. New moon in Pisces, attune to the divine. Uh, first quarter moon in Taurus, release control. I knew that was coming out. Um, and last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. Yeah, so in, enjoy this, my loves. You have worked very very hard for this bottom of the deck is new moon and libra know you are loved um you've worked really hard in setting the boundaries that have allowed you to welcome somebody who values you and who treats you well and who wants to treat you well and who wants to build something beautiful with you so now that you've received it and you've leaned into it and you've trusted it you you know it's not fair to yourself this person or your connection to pull away just because something very human happened to them, something beyond their control, something that, you know, took their attention away. It doesn't mean they've abandoned you. I can hear them saying that very clearly. Like I haven't abandoned you. I haven't forgotten about you. I haven't left you behind. There was just something I needed to deal with and I want to explain it to you. I want to tell you about it. I want to share it with you, but you have to let me in in order for me to do that. Um, and it's in your hands, my babies. It's in your hands how you do that if you let them in or if you say you know no I'm not ready for this sorry like it but but you need to give them an answer my darlings for the sake of fairness for the sake of of closure or allowing this to move forward you need to give them an answer is there anything else my loves okay let's pull some charms boop, 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 boop. it does feel like you've done a lot of really deep overthinking about this because the messages from this person and from spirit are coming through like so quick so clearly so blunt which i find happens often for group number four is it's very it's it's my no bullshit group it's no like there's no frills it's like this is what it is these are the messages this is how it's supposed to come out here we go there you go take it as you will uh <laughs> all right my loves let's pull some charms for you see what we get here this person really misses you though my darlings they have a very gentle very authentic energy about them not a mean bone in their body they could not could not take advantage of you if they wanted to you know what i mean my darlings like they just do not have that capability they're so truthful and loving and sweet and darling and affectionate and they care about you so fucking much um we have blessed i'll say 
we have Aries, we have Leo, we have Cancer, we have a little bow, we have a heart, we have a white cat, we have a very fancy key, uh, we have another cat, we have, excuse you, we have R that flipped over backwards, R, there we go, we have a Y, I'm hearing the name Ryan, Riley, Ryder. Um, we have a swan, which is gorgeous, soulmate energy, but also very gentle, very loving, very protective, and very devoted. Um, swans do not abandon each other. We have the sun. We have enough. We have a black star. And we have a little lollipop. Okay, very cute. Very, 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 very cute. Ooh, thunder in the background, my darlings. We just got a massive, massive bolt of thunder, if that resonates with you. But also, oh, she's gorgeous. I love a thunderstorm. But also, it feels like that's confirmation that the messages that you're getting from spirit, because you are very close to your spirit guides, my darlings. The messages you receive are very clear. The synchronicities you receive are very, very, very clear. It does feel like the messages that you receive you're receiving them as you're meant to. And it feels like they're really in your face messages. Like you're not able to deny them. Like you're going to see number synchronicities 20 times in a day. You're going to hear, you know, a significant song five times in a day, everywhere you go, no matter where you go. Like it's something you cannot deny. And it feels like it's this person's energy reaching out to you because they really want to. It feels like they're kind of like, like they're, so, <laughs> they're being so polite. Like they're just standing there being like, I just want to talk to you. I just want to explain this to you. You just, just please let me in. Like they just, they don't want to overstep. They don't want to make you uncomfortable, especially because they know what you've experienced, what you've gone through. Um, they don't want to overstep at all, but they do really want you to allow them in to, to explain. And so that they, you know, of course their wish, their hope is that you, you know, heal through this and get through this and allow your relationship to continue to grow and develop and expand. But on the other side, they respect you and value enough that if you're like, no, I can't do this, they, they at least want that closure, um, and, and want to explain to you so that you don't think that they, you know, forgot you or abandoned you or picked somebody else over you or anything that you're concerned with. They want to, they want to mend this. They want to, you know, make this better than it is very 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 strongly my darlings but it's in your hands it's in your hands how you um how you receive them my loves i feel like cats are a really big signifier as well white animals as well white bunnies uh white cats white rodents white dogs white and white birds um white animals are very significant confirmations for you my darlings but um i'm hearing from spirit like you don't need to you don't need to close this person off. You could have a uh, thunderstorm the day you watch this reading as well as confirmation or uh, the day that you speak with this person, reconnect with this person. But I will say very strong confirmation, my darlings, that this person is being very authentic with you. Very truthful. They are not hiding anything from you. They are not lying to you. They are not pulling the wool over your eyes. They are not going behind your back. Nothing like that. I promise you, my darlings. Promise, promise, promise. But allow them to, to show that to you, my darlings. Don't just take my word for it. Allow them to show that to you because I feel like at the very least, you, them, and your connection is worthy of that. Is there anything else, my loves? Oh my gosh, they give me a shiver. And they tell me no. Group number four, my sweet, beautiful darlings. I hope that you know how much this person values and adores you. I hope you know how much they miss you. I hope you know how much they appreciate you and how much they treasure you and how much they want to be a positive aspect of your life. You deserve very good things, my darlings, and no one is more aware of it than this person. Um, I hope that you enjoyed that, my loves. If you did... Please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. I love talking to you. I love hearing from you. Uh, if the reading resonated, more thunder. I love it so much. Oh, that's going to be so nice. Oof. To just sit and listen to that. Ugh. Mm. If the reading resonated, my energy resonated, please consider subscribing. All of my links for uh, Patreon with the exclusive 18 plus readings, exclusive readings 
blah, 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 blah. My Instagram, my Etsy store, and my email for more information on private readings and um, pricing and so on and so forth are down in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here with me today, my darlings. Thank you for allowing me to connect to you and your partner's energy. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I love you very, very much. Bye.